Now the game is simple, gotta keep these dimples Attached to these cheeks every time I speak Oh, when I freak on the weekend I'm eating these beats and Rick's right here, homie And you know that he reach deep in his soul Losing control, he take his shoes off And he release his souls And now mine's are a neon orange And I've been more than a welcome Listen, cause I got to tell them that I'm I'm glad you got the chance to say That I do believe I love you I'm glad you got the chance to say. Washing my hands. I got your iced coffee. Can I get your water as well? Yes, please. Room temper cold, my friend. Cold would be great. Um, on the brown, my friend? Well. You're right here. No, 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 no. Keep it on the brown. Oh, on the brown. Everything on the brown. Everything's on the brown. Um, out of respect, of course, for your ancestors. Hey, you got a dad card? Yeah. Have you seen any of these? And Iris, have I got a surprise for you. A Rick and Goblin Take Your Shoes Off Marvel inspired from the 1991 trading card series comic book characters with me as Wolverine and of course the Goblin as Hulk. Oh my goodness, thank you. Just what I, something I always dreamed I would have. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. Tell, tell them where to get it at tysocards.com. You can get one wait, of wait these. Wait until you look to them. Okay. You can get this card. And wait, you, wait, wait. You can get this card, and I advise you to do so at Tyson's card. Tyso. 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 You can say T Y S O. T Y S O. Thank you. No, no. Tyso cards. Tyso cards. Okay. Spell it. All of them. T Y S O. C A R D S. Is it dot com? Yeah. Dot com. Bye bye. <laughs> see that? Uh -huh. Look at this. Yeah, I want to see that in a sec. I'm shaking from the high that I'm on. Gold, eight out of ten. They haven't even um, done an auction for that yet. It doesn't even exist yet in the metaverse. My freaking alcoholism. Oh my god, that looks delicious. That is, that's high quality. It's chilled as well. That's uh, that's not Topo Chico. Although I'll take a Topo Chico. I know what that is. In the Space Jam glass. Hit him high. Hit. Are we allowed to do other people's songs on this podcast? Uh, yeah, I have an unlimited budget. Hey. Hi. Coming straight. Oh. Come Re straight through the hole. We unstoppable. Rest in peace. Oh, you can't get none of this hardcore. You're kind of a monster on the basketball court. Thank you. We also have some of the mines. Come on in, guys. Oh, my gosh. Is hit that... Up high, hit him high, hit him high, hit him high. Hit him low, hit him Oh, we got Barkley, Bradley, Muggsy Bugs. Who else is in there? Larry Johnson. Theme music. Skit do Bobble do 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 I can't do the whole yeah without shredding myself. Oh, yeah! Yeah, I just, I love this whole setup, man. This is like just such a great, oh, that card is so cool. Oh, ah, 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 ah. What happened? I don't care. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. What just happened? took a spill. I just took a little, oh, ah, ah. I was doing what you do on the show, remember? It's pretty good. Do you ever sit down and think of...
think I'm done. All right. ChristyComedy.com for all my ticky wickies. Uh, that's like my favorite thing that you do. Damn, that's some good network acting. Yo, here we are. I'm here to, uh, I'm just going to do a solo pod, okay? Yep. And you chill. You know the drill. Yeah, you take a break. You be Go in your phone. It. I'm setting up. I'm going to do well, my solo producer pod. Rick's still. Real Rick isn't even here yet. So, let me guys tell you something about uh, my new career as a uh, basketball card addict, junkie. I got into it when I was a kid, you know, as we all do. And the, the thing is that they flooded the market with cardboard in the early 90s. We thought we were getting Ken Griffey Jr. rookies at a, you know, at a premium. But the fact is, is they uh, they printed them all and they're worth nothing now. So all of our youthful investments don't mean shit. But today's market, it's chock full of freaking butts. And those butts are full of basketball cards. And if you get a gold one like I did today... You're sitting on 15 to 20K. And I tell you what, it feels good. I, I'm on a high. And when you have a sports card podcast like I do, it's... um, it's, it's a your sports card podcast? It's called um, card, Cardboard and Cuts. Cut boots and cuts and cardboard butts. And that doesn't work at all. How about Mint? Ooh, how about good. How about the Mint, the mint Man? No, minted with Utkar Shambutkar. How about UTK10? Oh, ho, 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 yeah. Like your own grading service. PSA UTK. I have so many awards, I'm not even worried about it. I fucking love that. That just happened. Just keep the blanket on the back of your chair. We got a new blanket from what I've seen. Nope. So what do we got? What are these MVPs? Let me read that one. Well, you got a plaque. Plaques are no MVP, joke. MVP, Comedy Basketball League. Same season I got most overrated. <laughs> I have biggest ego, most yes. annoying, and best player slash worst comic. Same but, award. But then there's something in the middle there that is a legit award. Is that oh, a the critic's Marvel's choice? Media, the, and from the six lead, a couple awards. That's from um, uh, As We See It and then Comedy Basketball League Championship. There's but, only one trophy here, but we won four out of the five years. The yeah, Rick Glassman's. Believe it. Oh, and look at Dented. Already? Already. Dude, brand new though, that, right? That came last week. Just got it. Congratulations. That Thank is you. no small feat. I wonder, not the size 13. <laughs> Can I tell you what? Where do we put this? That might be, here, I'll hold it. No, I don't want you to have to hold it, but you know what I will Let's do. display it. I fucking love it. I'm a proud, proud to sit next to you. Hey, how you doing today? Oh, I'm sweating now. Dude, you good? Guess what? I know you're a hundred thousand, but in my book, you should be fucking five hundred thousand. Because in terms of YouTube material, are we putting headphones on? I like to have mine. I just got hot. I'm gonna put the AC on. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah, my pits are sweating. Uh, should we cut to a mid roll? Make a little money? Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't my titty. <laughs> Second, I am going to be doing four shows, two live podcasts, two stand-ups with a good buddy of mine, Eric, the Cheetah Meister Griffin. Oh, so we can get you know tickets to the link in the thing, link in the bio, whatever the fuck it is. We'll put a lower third uh, in real life, let it in. But uh, come on out to a show and enjoy yourself. Oh, and as always, just stay nice to each other. I'm Rick Glassman. Thank you. <laughs> It makes me feel unheard when you laugh at me when I tell you what makes me uncomfortable. I'm so glad you told me about that. I was only playing. Oh, uh, now a word from our sponsors, BetterHelp. Communication like that is important. When you want to be a better problem solver, therapy could help get you there. Visit BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Tyso for 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash Tyso. 
Hold on, UTK. We're coming right back right now. <laughs> yeah, so the uh, the online therapy thing is just, it's the wild, wild west out there. You got to be careful who you get because some of these people are just getting certified at like Costco. So if I were you, I'd be really careful about whatever this guy says. And if the ad was for the CBD stuff, you know, give it a shot. You never know. Um, also, uh, a lot of stuff in the market, a lot like sports cards. The CBD out there could be just cardboard. You never know. Oh, Rick's back. Okay, going, going, going. You know the fact that. Uh, hold on one second. I got. I got to take a shit. No, dude, dude, so early. They might flag it. YouTube's oh, been getting. Sorry, YouTube's been sorry. flagging things. I just love when you do cartoon poos out of people's butts. Well, that's a shout out to Tom. <laughs> oh, thanks, Rick. Here at my YouTube channel, you'll find all sorts of comedy sketches. From interviewing Andrew Tate on Hot Ones, making fun of Marvel movies, and turning myself into Amber Hood's poo. And the best part is, it's all animated. Including me. There's also a... a Can I just get a little monster right here then, and I'm petting his head? Yeah, well, um, maybe we could give the uh, the award some arms now that it's got a dent in it. Looks like a fucking, looks like a monster now. Hey, good to meet you, bro. Okay. Give me a pound. Awesome. Are we good? I mean, I'm great. I'm so excited to be here. UTK, um, you've been messaging me for, for, uh, <laughs> for a know, while. Two years? Um, how much you love the podcast. You watch so many episodes. And for those two years, I've been trying to get you on the podcast. True. You're the, like, how I'm best player slash worst comic. You're biggest fan slash most difficult to get on. Bro, I don't, basically, I don't live in LA and we live five minutes away from each other. Yeah. I could have a, a, a bike ride, a short bike ride. I don't have a bike, but something, a scooter. I could have done it. You're yeah. super close. Uh, last night, my wife and I watched the first six episodes of As We See It. Really? I hadn't seen it yet. I apologize. I watched it last night. Please. You're so good. You're Thank such. You so much. Yeah. That. What is the award for? Uh, which one? And well, go on. No, no. The As We See It award. Which one? What did you get it for? This one is Marvels of Media for for the show As We See It, and this is the Hollywood Critics Association. Yes, bro. You got that HCAA. I'm I think, just. I think it's one A. I think it's double A. If no, you're, you got that H C A G T V, bro. Yeah. You got the H G T V double A C L, baby. Yeah. I'm just a nominee. Mm. You're a winner. Oh, were you nominated? Hey. For ghosts and yeah. CBS this. And, season, and then Bill Hader. Eight. Bill Hader was like, "Man, one again. I don't give a shit." But in what world? I have. I don't watch Barry. But my joke is, in what world is Barry a comedy? But I'm going to be honest with you. I've never seen an episode, so I don't know what it is. But you know what I have seen? Tell me. The first six episodes of As We See It? Yeah, and then we had to turn it off because our little one started crying. But you're so good. Thank you. And there's only one moment in the whole show so far where I see you mm. and not the, your character, uh, not Jack. Oh, Is yeah. it Jack? Yeah, and it's the it's um when you ask her how much she weighs on the couch and yeah, she that says was, that was a uh, we put that in that was a stand-up joke <laughs> and she says is that a joke and then you have this the first time i've seen like a little bit of the rick Gra glassman that you see on, yeah the grassman that you see on this uh podcast and in the stuff you do that just that little smirk and then it comes back again at the bus stop when you do the smooch you're just so good man it's Thank like you. the i i people you you guys are asleep at the wheel i mean you're doing all this stuff if you guys haven't watched this show, and I don't think a lot of your friends who come on here and do the podcast, have they seen it? You know, I, uh, 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 more than I realized, more than I realized, I have found out that my friends have seen the show. I mean, which, by the way, is, you know, I would have guessed one percent and it's maybe 12 percent, um, but also watch the podcast. I, I think it's very cool when our peers watch our stuff. This podcast is just endlessly funny. Well, I had a, a UTK 10 award and now it's I mean, now the surface is fucking shot. I mean, that's great. I wouldn't even get it graded now. No, no, no. I wouldn't. If Hold I that up you. for the camera so they could see. Yeah, you fucked it up for the bit. But you know what? It happened on the podcast. It's part of the podcast. And for that reason, I'm okay with it. But also, it's just the first kid. The next kid you do better with. When What's the no. next thing? 500? No, 250? you don't get it until a million. Well, it's coming soon. Wow. This, this, Jan this what, is, what are we? Spring? What, are what we? is January? Winter? It's, it's uh, September 30th or something? Dude, by October 15th, 
million. which is about uh, probably around when this is going to this episode is going to come out. Rick Glassman hit platinum today. Congratulations. <laughs> you know, we don't normally date our podcast because I'm taking you. You already know this, but I took a week off to mm. uh, to um, give us a little bit of a break. And uh, I'm starting a I started a solo episode. Patreon.com says shake your shoes off. <laughs> um, so this is now coming out two weeks after. Oh, shit. Yeah. Well, you're platinum. Congratulations. You think it'll happen by then? It should. I believe in it. You told me that uh, the second kid you take care of better. Um, how does that translate to you? Because you have two kids. I have a... Today, so, right? Yeah. <laughs> Today, yes. Yeah. It's happening. And I'm shooting... Oh, my wife's not going to like that. I don't but like it's that. True. I believe everything he said. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Listen, we are... We are uh, wouldn't mind a third joining the clan. We'll see what happens. How old are your kids? My daughter's seven. She's in second grade. And uh, my son is two and a half. And so... Yeah, we're like full on and we're like a, yeah, we're full on. We got no, the, we're the child bear, we're the child caring people, meaning there's no like au pair or nanny situation. We're just right. doing our thing. Well, you don't even have a bike. You can't have an au pair without a bike. You goddamn right. My wife does everything. And then I just make jokes and buy basketball cards and mm -hmm. have fun. I'm, right. a, I'm a fucking So her three useless. kids are seven, two and a half and, <laughs> and 38. 38. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, for people, uh, first of all, before we get too far into this, and I've known you for a decade and I know you as UTK. I still don't know how to, what your first name is. I know it's UTK something, Arish. <laughs> Utkarsh. How do you say it? Utkarsh. Utkarsh. You know, you and I have met what? Twice in person? I remember the... Uh, I've met you twice and I think both, both times, times were, at Adam Devine's house. were at Adam Devine's house. Adam, I hope you're doing well. Uh, newly married to Chloe. Love Adam. Messaged me today about this card. Ooh. Told me he thought, I think you're sitting on a gold mine, buddy. Yeah, man. One of ten, baby. Love it. Love yeah. to see it. Um, it's fun to pull it. Oh, my God. You should Different than buying. You should have heard. I literally went from, this was a terrible idea. I shouldn't have done this to the family. I'm sorry. I know I have a problem. This is it for me. I'm done. You good? Yeah. I, I, I would try to do it without you acknowledging it so we could... Nobody sees it, but now we'll show the camera switches so they know. Just, it's okay, guys. I, I, I see everything, and mm. I know how the podcast works. Do you see everything, or does your TV wife see everything? Hey! Hi! Rose, have you worked with Rose McIver? I have not. She's uh, she's exceptional. But you're working with Hannah Simone right now, yes. right? Put and up Gina. a picture of his thumbnail, Ghosts, please. Yeah, Ghosts, Ky Chiron, and then we need also a Hannah Simone. Sure. And uh, Gina Rodriguez, yeah, who I went to college with, Tish, indeed. And her and I, uh, we did raps together, and we did hip hop stuff together. And who's a better rapper, her or me? Ooh, ooh, mm. different styles. My daughter passed when she was seven Damn. years old. Mm. I cried, I grieved, I had to bury her soul. I thought, damn, this is love and life and living it, killing it, loving it, silliness. So I mask it inside, I bury it in it. <laughs> Joke be nothing but fire breaching the dirt. Breaching your worth, Lord Jesus Christ is taking the earth. I scorched, I heard it when I heard it. Lord above a 39, I push it in cleavage, chef in the night and scorch on. It's done. Hitting up, I'm a factory, factory. That's that, I'm a factory, factory. Back to the back, factory, factory, tack, 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 take it back to me. Now I live in and loving and taking living in the vision. Yeah, and now we hold it on his hoes on. Yeah. Take a look inside my soul. Uh, it's black as fuck. Yeah, but it's black and gold. Yeah, I'm young, bitch, but I'm also young and old. I say I got a hot ass, but my ass is hot and cold. Cause sometimes I do, sometimes I don't want it. No, 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 do not go. We know how it goes if you can't pop, pop, pop. I'm riding on the bus. I'm on the train, train B. I'm on the I'm on the bus. Remember, he said he's on the bus. I do remember. Yeah, he's coming through the back door too. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, he said a lot of nasty stuff on there, but uh -huh. oh boy, my I was. Oh, that's a funny one, especially when they're teasing you by making ASMR noises into mm. their microphones. 
Gotta love it. You know, because I'm so funny, and I am so funny, I think people think my rapping is comedy rap as opposed to actually legit poetry. Speak on that. Um, I, I think that's... Uh, gulp, 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 gulp. Do you, <laughs> do you, think it, do you take it seriously? Uh, it's a that's a that's a difficult question because it depends it depends on the definition of seriously. I mean, you know, you play pig, right? You're shooting around or your horse, and like you're having fun, you're doing trick shots. But are you still trying to win? Are you taking it seriously? Yes. So everything I do, I I, I do with intention. Yeah. <laughs> so you're on a show called Ghosts. It's called Ghosts. It's the number one new comedy on television. Cool. It's a big deal. We just had our season two premiere. Uh, last night, which and would have been three weeks ago, to for, nobody, right? To uh, yeah, it's like. Well, that's what I I saw. There was a uh, that it was at a theater in front oh, of nobody, yeah. like it was meant for ghosts. Was that fake? No, no, they really screened it for nobody. Well, and, nobody and, that we could see exactly. And if you were a living human and tried to get into the theater, they would kick you out, which right. is just hilarious. I don't know, man. PR baby, they know what they're doing. We don't know. You know. I sometimes wonder if they do, although I that the idea is fun because well, I'm ta- we're talking about it, but a lot of times they don't want to do stuff. Well, you can't post this. Don't do this. Don't show this in this outfit. Don't show the funny stuff. Don't do fake bloopers. Hey, spoiler alert. I'm going to say the A word. Eat my asshole. Let's get some fucking comedy out there, PR. I, uh, I have to agree. Mm-hmm. And look, I'm a sitcom guy now. I'm a broadcast guy. CBS. Um, I know the theme song, mm-hmm. I'm getting paid uh, yeah. by the almighty Viacom, mm-hmm. but I would have to agree that you should eat Rick's asshole. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, if if with, you're not going right. to do fun bloopers and silly stuff and let us post about yeah. it. I job. will say Ghosts kind of lets us do our own thing. We get to fly. You do post a, a, a good amount from it. Yeah, we get to have fun and not just me, like the, the whole crew, they, they do a lot of stuff. But look, Rick's you didn't get your asshole eaten until you were like 30 right late 20s early 30s 30 or 31 yeah. i remember i remember i remember exactly what happened i remember that i i wasn't i was a little unsure but it, it was organic it wasn't like i'm gonna eat your ass it was just lower and lower it just happened and i wanted it but i was a little embarrassed and then once it happened it's like st- getting your asshole eaten is like doing stand-up you, you're nervous in anticipation, but when you're on stage, it just feels good and you're not nervous anymore. I completely agree. Or like eating sushi for the first time. I had sushi for the first time, the, like real sushi, like without sauces Like and omakase. Stuff. They go and they bring them out to you one at a time. And uh, I would have rather gotten my asshole eaten. In fact, I told that to my server. <laughs> hey, and they were like, well, I work in CBS PR. I yeah, could help yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, no, they're very, very good with us. Uh, so far, so good, I think. So uh, <laughs> you're you said that you're a sitcom actor now because I'm a I'm a dramatic actor now. I mean, I, obviously, I do comedy. No, you too. are so good on mm. that show, bro. Mm. I don't know how you if are you good at taking compliments. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm the best. Thank you for even asking. Good, because I'm I. Thank you so much. I'll go into full self deprecation. I have no ability to take a, a real compliment. Ooh, I'd like to teach you how to do it, but first I'll show you. Okay. By example, you are. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry okay, so I met you. Uh, a couple times at Adam Devine's. And your energy is m- maniacal when you first, when I first met you, I was like, this dude is nonstop, like Robin Williams or what mm. you think Robin Williams would be like. Mm. You are quick witted. Mm. You are energetic. Mm. You are very, you're just like this ball of energy. And I was wondering kind of like where the real person was right. in that when I first Thank met you. you. And um, thank you so much. (laughs) And then I see the podcast and you're like so funny and so much energy. And there's just this large personality. And then you see this the same human who I watch uh, be hysterical and like call up and be like Dr. Glassman trying to get late checkout, replenish. Cut, Cut to the clip. Cut to the clip, because I'm on break with my boys, getting away from the wife, the kids, cutting into people's shoulders. I'm a doctor. We got to get home tomorrow because I got an early call, knee deep inside this 13-year-old boy. But what I was wondering is, since I don't have to be home until the evening, maybe we could sleep in. Doctor needs his rest. Do you think we could check out around 5 p.m.? Dude, John DeWalt, underrated. That guy. Fantastic. Sleeper ninja. with his, He's very funny. John, and, clip this. Put it on your social. And you and him together, woof. I mean, woof. That- uh, are you doing Buzz from Home Alone? 
Buzz, your Buzz's girlfriend. girlfriend. Woof. No, I was doing more like a pack of dogs, like, like in. I was thinking I was doing all dogs go to heaven. Right. I or, actually. Right. Yeah, because we're like sort of together. Or Oliver and company, any sort of animal that likes other animals. Woof, like a happy yeah. woof. Uh, pets, pets too. I already got it. Super pets. Uh, yeah, yeah you're, okay. now you're just naming yeah. cartoon dogs. <laughs> I love them. Yeah. I really do. Maybe the um, wolves and Beauty and the Beast. Oh, yeah. Which were, were, were semi antagonists, but it really brought, it really pushed the story together. Oh, they, they, yeah, they, they were a huge story. Uh, what do you call it? Point engine. It, it kind of reminds me of the hit song, and I know my fans uh, already love this song. But you think something might not be good, and then it turns out every long lost dream led me to where you are. Others who broke my heart, they were like northern stars, leading me on my way into your loving arms. This much I know is true. What? Thank God bless the broken road that led me straight to you. Oh, shit. But you were complimenting me? What song is that? Rascal Flats. Oh, yeah. So missed, I missed the whole Rascal Flats generation. Cut to a clip. Every long lost dream led me to where you are. Others who broke your heart, they were like northern stars, leading me on my way into your loving arms. This much I know is true, that God bless the broken road that led me straight to you. First of all, you sang that on Harlan, Bobby. Who else did you sing that on? You sang that on Giannis's. Mm -hmm. Bro, I think what you, I <laughs> hope that you just clipped. Did all, you just, did you watch? Oh, did, did you, yeah, we, did you see it? I I can, I've already seen yeah. it, but I hope you do that. Yeah. Because it would be a great idea. That's a good idea. I just gave it to you, baby. Let's cut to it. <laughs> oh, I love that. It's a good idea. I love this show. I'm so happy to be on it. Anyway, hey, the same guy, you. yeah, the same guy who's like a cuckoo bird. Oh. Um, is you see this character of Jack and bro? Like I've never had the opportunity, and I've been acting, quote unquote, acting for a long time. How come do you didn't put acting in the quotes? Ah, uh, because I do mostly jo jokes. But why not put it? Didn't you mean to put the acting in the quotes? Yeah. What? Did, <laughs> sorry. I've been acting for a long time. Did it get in that time? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Well, you did quote unquote acting. And it's like, well, now it just seemed like a mistake. Oh, no. It's the quote. Quote acting, acting unquote. unquote. Yeah. Got quote it, acting got unquote. Oh, man, you're right. The English language. It's a bitch. When did you learn it? You know, at a young age, I got to say, probably like whatever my parents taught me, but teaching my seven year old how to read has been truly challenging because a, a word like mature, mm -hmm. how would you even spell it? I don't even know what that means. Oh my God, bro. bro. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Jeez, oh, wheeze. Uh, oh, Oh, it hurts. Yeah, people don't know how to funnel it. It doesn't have to get all over. I have to acknowledge something that I'm, and I became aware of a minute ago, and now I'm sure of it. Let's do it. Uh, and I take responsibility. We're coming hot. We're going fast. We're going heavy, and I'm loving it. I'm just thinking, like, I think I want to slow down. Sure. I want to slow down because I'm, I'm literally feeling myself getting hot, and I, I've been wanting... I've been wanting to have you on for a while, so I just want to continue with the compliments, though. <laughs> yeah, um, I'll, let's slow down. Listen, guys, I'm going to finish this, what I'm going to say about Rick, mm. and then we got to slow it the fuck down. Yeah, okay? uh, at least I have to. No, we need an interlude. We've been hitting mm -hmm. them with hot hits. Mm -hmm. It's too much BPM. And I have too much. Yeah, I mean, we're at 120. I want to be at 80 max. Easy 80. If mm -hmm. we can get up to 93, 94. Oh, we can get back up to 120, but let's let's get there. Let's, let's, let's just 
get there. All I got to say is I just watched six episodes of you last night. You are a great actor. Thank you. And the question is, mm -hmm. how do you do that? Mm -hmm. Like, how did you, who I've experienced as someone who has got a lot of energy and movement mm -hmm. to their natural personality, find that kind of stillness mm -hmm. where you're not even really, I mean, you are, you are fully a different person. Thank you. Thank you. Are you working or are you just like, this is always who I've been. I've just been Listen. wanting to get still. Still. This is, uh, I'm going to answer you sincerely. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to say some silly stuff that's going to be patronizing. So I feel more comfortable in this explanation because that's where I live. Fair enough. Uh, but I will answer that by saying also the same thing applies to where I try to be in my daily life, mm -hmm. which is, and I said a joke earlier about this, but it's true, to have intentions behind everything. And sometimes that comes with preparing. So you could just live in that moment and not think about what you're doing. Um, but like, I just, I'm just, um, I'm just there, man. I have a job to do. And that's something that sometimes I believe that, at least speaking for myself, I, f I forgot. or uh, I didn't realize early on. We're coming out here and we want to live out our dreams and we want to get paid to entertain and we want to play and we want to act and rap. You know, scoring's fun. Believe me. I know. Oh, yeah. I've seen you. You need to get rebounds. You need to take charges. You need to do your job. You got to set the pick. You got to get the hockey assist. Mm. What's a hockey assist? It's when I pass to you and you pass to the next guy and he gets the point and you get the oh, assist. Oh, in hockey, do they give you the, that assist if you pass it to the guy who passes it to the guy who scores? I have no idea. I heard it on a podcast and I've been using it for like seven years. I wonder, comment hockey player. I have a, a oddly large hockey following. Really? Yeah. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know any hockey players. Ovechkin. Mm. Cool guy? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay, so tell me, you're there to do a job. But how you don't feel any challenge, and it's okay if you don't, you feel no challenge going to still, the oh, yeah. stillness of Jack. The stillness wasn't the challenge. I had a lot of challenges on it. What was the challenge for you in that role? Um. You know, the, the uh, you 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 try to if sometimes you have memories that are directly analogous to what the character is doing, and then you just think of that stuff. And then sometimes the logic of the character is so inconsistent with my logic, right? And that's where I find it to be challenging because then it feels like I'm lying as opposed to just being in this space. Yeah, and lying feels hard. It's hard with stand up, like repeating jokes I've talked about. Um, you have to do it though. Um, so that's where I get challenged because when I feel like I'm lying, I don't know if I'm doing it right. Do you connect to that at all? You just hit it on the head. You explained it for me, something that I was, that I haven't been able to explain. So thanks. Tell me, tell me how. Same what thing, even on the sitcom, like, and it's tough, right? With the, with the Jay, for those who don't know, I'm on the show called Ghosts. I play, uh, Samantha Rose McIver's husband. She can see ghosts. I can't. So and they move into a, a haunted house, right? And um, hilarity uh, comedy ensues. ensues. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, like most of my lines are like, "What they say, huh? Ghost thing, babe. I love you, but you're kind of freaking me out. That's not bad. <laughs> hey, babe, I love you, but you're really freaking me out, baby. Um, but yeah, like some days I'll go to work and I'll be like, no. He would never do this. Mm -hmm. What she's doing right now is borderline. Imagine an actual house where bring the Monstars back in. We got all the folks in here. You can't see any of them. I can see them all. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. How you doing? And I just spend the next 30 minutes having conversations with other people while you watch. Yeah. That is a horror movie. That's that's like a Blumhouse movie if you want it to be. So it's like a major suspension of disbelief. But can I go back to you? Uh, yeah, but, but point I, I want to know, are, is it difficult because it's difficult you're because setting her up or is it difficult because you're acting the things that, I don't know, is it because it's difficult because you're acting the things that don't exist? No, it's like, just one second, please. He's, we're having a real conversation here about acting, which I never get to do. So yeah, we'll, we'll get back to the, you know, playing the, the Looney Tunes later. Fucking idiots. Um, it's, uh, it's the, um, it's the feeling like a liar. That's tough. But I'm saying, what? how does that translate to the people? Is it because there's nothing there or is it something else? 
No, it's the intentions of the character. It's when the belief. Right. So it's of not the, that you're talking to ghosts. It's no. just that the way you're talking to them or the way you're behaving feels disingenuous yeah, yeah, yeah. to like, who you are. I've accepted the given circumstances. I'm a. You can keep going while I'm doing this. I'm just making. I'm a sense. guy who can't see ghosts. You're right. I love my wife, right. and we're together, and we're on a mission. Great, but there's sometimes when that character, who's supposed to be this loving, supportive husband, maybe he'll be a little too mean. Mm -hmm. Maybe he'll be a little disengaged maybe uh, a little passive and I'll be like, we've created a character that doesn't fit these rules. And so I'm sorry. You're saying that normally you're not passive and now you are. So you're saying they're asking you to do something that has, that has that by what they've established already isn't who this character is. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I think if we can just go back to how Rick explained it uh, three minutes ago, well, it's really about <laughs> not wanting to lie. There, that's what you explained it perfectly, and I'm just making it m mucky. I'm so glad that we learned how to communicate better thanks to therapy. Me too. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we make jokes on this podcast a lot. Lord knows I've been guilty of this plenty of times. I get it. But there are other tools out there in addition to comedy. And to learn those tools, sometimes you have to have somebody teach you. Look at those goblins. There was a time where they hated each other. And now we're having three ways. Three ways. Three ways. If you are thinking about giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, accessible, affordable, and entirely online. When you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can help get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash Tyso to save 10% off your first month. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P -E 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 dot com slash Tyso. <laughs> you have beautiful singing voices. We have such a great time with you, Rick. You're welcome. <laughs> Just another reminder, only a few days left to get tickets this Friday and Saturday. But I'm also doing Boston? this show with Rick Glassman, the great Rick Oh, I Glassman. love Rick. <laughs> Rick's, yeah, Rick's doing his own. He's doing a live podcast in his show. It's in St. Petersburg. So go to Rick's website for that. I'm, I said I would go do a live podcast with him. Yeah. And I think we're going to do a couple of sets. It's the first time I've ever done a live Take Your Shoes Off podcast. Looking forward to figuring out how to do a live podcast and two stand up shows. Link in the description. So can I ask one yeah. scene that I thought just was so beautiful? I know so much of it had to do with the actor who played. Your father, Anthony, right? Joe or, Montagna. I'm sorry, Joe Montagna. It's okay. That makes sense. He's very Italian. Uh, I was going to say Anthony La Paglia. So, yeah. It's Tony Soprano, right? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Hey. Hi. My name's Aziz Ansari. But um, it's uh, it's nice to know that we can all just stereotype mm -hmm. each other. So you guys- Tell are, me about it. You guys are in the car. You're coming back from the doctors. Uh-huh. And you say- I need to be your advocate. And um, coming back from dinner, I remember. Right, coming that. back from dinner. How are you feeling emotionally? Mm -hmm. I want to be your advocate. And first of all, you nail your performance. And then, thank you. You guys should clip to it. I wonder if we can. Oh man, Joe M Monta Montanero, uh -huh. Joe Manganello. Uh, but I've had Joe Manganello on the podcast. <laughs> Joe's the man. Guy. Gotta love Joe. Uh, Joe Montagna. Uh, Joe Montagna. Put up a picture of both Joes. Thank you. Uh, and also Joe Montana, because <laughs> my brain's going all over yeah. the place. Well, you're passing, passing back and forth between the two guys. So. Um, <laughs> but um, his reaction to that is he's, just he's so, so gorgeous, mm -hmm. man. And um, to have a partner like that must have been so special for you. Because mm -hmm. you spend a lot of time, I don't know, I just, I, I'm, it's fresh for me and I'm, I'm just really happy for you. Thank you. It was very special work with him. Um, he cares so much about what the story is. Uh, one of his two daughters um, is autistic uh, and he has a lot of um, experience with uh, that type of love and support. And as a person, he's like, he's just love and support. Um, and it really felt, that's another thing, like it really helps. I mean, this is an obvious statement, but when you're working with somebody who is in it you know when you're working with somebody who you believe during a scene it, it's it's a challenge to not be in it with them you know because you're responding to them as opposed to giving your lines so having somebody that like makes eye contact to then you your eyes start to water whenever you look at his eyes you know it's just like yeah it's it's a beautiful show so i, I uh to show to answer your question how to take compliments um yeah how do uh, i do it uh well 
here's here's what it is. Um, allow yourself to accept ex- outside of the, the external compliment. Um, when you see yourself in something, don't be so ju- judgmental. And I don't mean that in like, be kind to yourself. I mean that quite literally, like don't have body dysmorphia all the time. Like uh, it, it is what it is, man. That's this, literally this is what we just are. what I was thinking. Yeah. I was like, you get over how you look, guy. <laughs> yeah, but but that's the thing. Like, I mean, you have perfect hair and you're wearing a hat, you know? Because like, it's gray. Right. I'm sure you could find a problem in every scene that you've done. Oh, that's yeah. That's what I'm saying. That was yeah, a real... it was a great scene and my genetics are perfect, but that's a little gray beca- uh, and, and not realizing that. Yeah, because it's supposed to be gray. Of course. I'm more, you know, I like hats. I'm a hat guy, too. You look good. Thank you. You got the curl. It looks good. But like there are so many things to not like. So let me ask you this. Thank how you. come <laughs> how come you don't have more stand up material online? I don't like to post it because it's not done. What do you mean it's not done? When it's when I po- I still do post and I'm considering doing more because that's what the market is. But like I want you to see me for the first time because as I was saying before, I already feel like a liar repeating stuff. Mm. So I am so in my head that anybody in this audience has already seen me before. They might have seen some of this stuff already. So when I put stuff online, there's more of a chance they had seen it. So starting off, because the only thing I've seen is maybe like two things. uh, I've only posted like five things. Yeah. And some of them are like seven years old. Yeah, so uh, the <coughs> so stuff I uh, the last TV taping I did was maybe five years ago. Is that block party? Was that Adam Devine's that was, show? That was seven years ago, and then five years ago I think was a Montreal just for last thing, which I saw, um, and that was the thing uh, where you read the wrong. You read yeah. the uh, the, um, the host read the wrong intro. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I and but like those were things I, I I came up with that for that taping. I'm not doing that anymore. Well, what about with the headphones where you're like, you know, on the since phone? I posted online, I don't do it much anymore. Oh, I just feel insecure. It's so funny. Thank you. I don't want to spend too much more time talking okay, about you me. Talk. And thank guys, you. we got to slow it down. Listen, what, what you have here is a guy who just has been wanting to be on the TYSO podcast, take your shoes off podcast for like what a long time. What made you time. find it? What made you find this podcast and watch it? Because, you know, we, we've been social media friends for a long time. But like you said, we've met a couple of times. And I've talked to you so much recently over the past you know, year or two because of this podcast. How do you find that? Probably from your posts and but, then seeing how much. OK, first of all, you got a fucking awesome logo. You got a great theme song. I'm just yeah. talking from a consumer. Right. Great theme song. You got lots of lights and cameras. Yeah. Sound quality. Big thing for me. Top notch sound quality. Do you have issues with some sound quality of other things? Oh my God. Yeah. I love basketball. Do you like NBA basketball? Mm -hmm. There's a guy named Zach Lowe who does a podcast. Shout out to Zach Lowe. Yeah. Zach Lowe's sound quality. He is one of the most brilliant minds in basketball, but his sound quality. Oh, fucking trash. Can't listen to Mm -hmm. it. Rod Strickland had a podcast. Couldn't wait. Awful. It's like he was recording it on his phone inside of a bathtub. Mm -hmm. Not good. Anyway, you got special effects, cartoons. Mm -hmm. It's like watching a Scott Pilgrim movie. It's awesome. Edgar Wright's one of my favorites. You, it's like, uh, yeah, it's an Edgar Wright. It's like, uh, it's great. It's it's uh, it's like watching Deadpool. Well, thanks for thanks for being here. Thanks for loving the podcast. Now let's get into it a little bit with you. Fuck me. Okay. Okay. Um. So, uh, tell me what you love so much about as we see it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I could do that all day. Uh, I do actually. You know, we'll go from me to you by making this connection. Still, something with me. This new show that I'm doing that comes out on ABC in January. It is about Gina Rodriguez, uh, who could see ghosts. No fucking way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I think, I don't know if it's it oh, was the intention behind <laughs> the creators, but maybe why one of the reasons the network wanted or liked it is because your show is such a, such a hit. I would assume so. And now so. I'm like, I guess ghosts are in. A, B, C. Isn't that funny? Or that we're all just fucking shilling, shilling the same shit, man. That's really funny. So she can see ghosts and she's married to... No, so so it's actually a kind of a sad story because she was doing great. She was a reporter. She was in London. She interviewed Meghan Markle. Dang. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and like pre, pre-queen pre or pre-princess Meghan Markle. No, no, no. Post-princess Meghan Not Markle. USA PPMM. Network. Not Suits Meghan Markle. No. Whoa. No. Sick. Yeah. Her husband left her. 
Shout out to the queen. Give us our jewels back. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I don't yeah. want to take a, 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 a political I, turn. Yeah, but I, I, I do feel bad. I'm sorry. India was the top, had the top three oh, yeah. GDP. Mm-hmm. And then uh, let's just, anyway. It reminds me, uh, it reminds me back, uh, you know, a long time ago, a long time ago, maybe a thousand AD, maybe 1200 when Baghdad was the center of, of the, uh, of the, of the, of the world basically, mm-hmm. as far as mm-hmm. free thought. And the reason was, um, aliens. Sh- mm-hmm. Yeah. Fucking aliens, bro. Mm-hmm. If you spend enough time on TikTok, you'll learn the earth is flat. There's a wall around Antarctica. And aliens are underground. Oh, I misunderstood. I, by aliens, I thought you meant just people that were foreign to the country. That is what I meant. Jews, Christians, <laughs> Jews. Muslims, they all came together and, and were able to express their opinions and thoughts and poke holes in their theories that didn't work and they got to grow together. Think about all, I mean, algebra is an Arabic word. Yeah. It comes from that. All mathematics, all these things, but. India, South Asia, and now we're all just making ghost shows. You know what happened? I don't remember his name, but with the St. Augustine of the Muslim world, St. Augustine took all of these Christian philosophies and theories and kind of packaged it into this version that he thinks was the best version. And that kind of gave to be a kind person and these types of things is what the St. Augustine Christianity is. And there was a, uh, the Muslim uh, version of that. And I don't know his name. Do you? Rami well, Malik? Yes. Thank you. He changed. <laughs> he, uh, he put in the, um, in the uh, uh, what's the book? What's your book? The alchemist. Thank you. To uh, that mathmat- math 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 mathematics is no good. Dang, it's rough. I heard all of this on on TikTok from uh, <laughs> yeah. from uh, uh, what's his name? You know, for the the remake of Cosmos. <laughs> oh yeah, fucking DeGrasse Tyson. Yeah. Zero zero seven three seven three five nine six three. By the way, password to Tyson. <laughs> password to Neil deGrasse Tyson and punch out. So <laughs> so um uh Gina Hannah Simone is who her friend at work. Yeah. You are a work colleague as well. It's a workplace no, comedy. No, well, it is a workplace comedy, but I am her uh, landlord slash roommate slash if we make it long enough, spoiler alert, probably going to be her, her love interest. Yeah, look at you, man. Tall, dark, and handsome. TDH. You, she, she's the best, by the way. Do you like working with Gina? Uh, edit this out. I can't stand her. <laughs> she's just constantly freestyling. Not good. <laughs> that cannot be true. She's, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I thought it was a joke. She's always like, it's a martini shot today. Hurry on up in a major way. It's that all this cannot, very just like hacky. That cannot be true. Mm-hmm. Gina's got Cut mad swag. Ladies and gentlemen, Caucasian and Melanin, welcome to the Take Your Shoes Off pod. I got an offer for you that you can't refuse. Go to Utkar Shambutkar on Spotify or iTunes or wherever you listen to your fucking music and take it in because I tell you what no one else is and I need your support. And honestly, it means a lot to me. Thank you and thank my mother and father for making me work as hard as I do with such little relevation. God bless you and God bless Quebec. And, uh, no, no, she's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, Gina, Gina has got uh, energy and swag for days. She's got a spirit. I like her. She's a fighter. Do you have to refer to people as um, in a positive way when speaking about spirits and ghosts now because of your contract with ghosts? And how much <laughs> do you make per episode? Oh, my gosh. Way more than I should. Yeah. Is this the most you ever got paid for a TV show? By far. Oh, yeah. Um, I guess one one time and you'll tell me over or under. Uh, it's probably not good for my coworkers. So, no, let's not do that. Um, we will bleep my guess and we'll also blur my mouth. You have to. 100 percent. OK. OK. Yep. Um, and John Michael also mark this so I can make sure because, you know, sometimes I don't check over as much as I used to because Bro. he is so good. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I'll guess one time. I'll guess twice now since we're bleeping it. And okay. You'll tell me over or under. Um, under. Oh, who gives a shit? Your coworkers won't care. You poor <laughs> bitch. Uh, Wait. V- yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, we're talking pre-commish. Pre-commish. Yeah, under. Um, Over. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's, Good. it's not bad. How many episodes? 22. <laughs> we can't We can't air any of this. <laughs> This is not good for this is not good for the the business that I'm in. I I couldn't disagree with you more. 
I think if more of us mm. talked about our rates, it would only help the business. You think? Absolutely. They all know. The people paying us know. The people getting back end know. They have all the information. We don't have the information. So why don't we tell each other? I'll tell you. Tell me. I make an episode. Are you serious? Yes. Holy shit. Are you fucking kidding me? No. <laughs> You're not kidding. I'm kidding. You are kidding. <laughs> yes. Are you? I don't make that much an episode. How much do you make an episode? Less than you. You make <laughs> dollars an episode? No, I make less than you, technically, because it's only 13 episodes. But do you make dollars <laughs> per? Bleep every time he said that. Yes. <laughs> what? Bro, are you kidding me? Yes. What? <laughs> We'll move on. Are you telling the truth? Listen, I'll talk to you about it after, but I, I mean... Holy... First of all, mm -hmm. yeah, you should. I know I should. I don't. Whatever it is. Let's not talk about this anymore because two things. One, people could get turned off by talking about money. There's two versions of money, and I like talking about one of them. There's talking about money in a way where it's like, guess what? Trivia type of stuff. Or check this out, like like show and tell. That I don't... I, I'm not into talking. Talking about it from like... Uh, 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 a logistics point of view. This is what people get paid. This is what people make. This is what things are worth. This is how much they have to pay their agents. This is how much they net at the end of the day. These are their expenses. I like to know that because I want to be able to compare to like, wait a minute, if I'm doing this and they're doing this. What's going on? You know, you can know what you're worth to a, to a show as far as how well you could tell a story, but it's hard to know what you're worth when it's all relative monetarily yeah because you could be have a, you could have way more to do on a story that is way more work but it's on a streaming service versus a network where you're fourth on the call sheet etc but you still make more way more on network i'm making more on this network show than i did on my amazon show of course and i was first on the call sheet of the amazon show so good it was a lot of work amazing work. and drugs. this this one I'm, I'm in i'm in between one and four days max a week Single cam? Yeah. Like Bro. today, I, I went in at 8 a.m. I was I was back in time at by 2 p.m. Oh, you've had a full work day. I had a, a small one. Crushing it. Did you do scenes with Gina today? Yeah. Oh, man. Love Gina. Great rapper. I'd like to, I'd like to hear more. <clears> you know, the, the, mo that the, money, the uh, money part of things is it's tough when... Straighten that out. <laughs> It's tough when... God damn it. Just bring it up. Bring it up. It's, it's sleeping. No, have it, like it's eating in bed. There you go. The money part of things as like a minority or like in the business has been something that I've had to navigate. And so it's like the first time where it's like, oh, you're getting like equal pay is or regular pay. So there was always, I interrupted, go ahead. Just like pay that is commensurate of what peers are receiving as opposed to like, mm, but you know, he's kind of just like, we gave him a ticket, but he's not like. You know what I mean? Like he's not, he doesn't get a season pass. He's here for the day. And uh, I don't know what the analogy is. The analogy is essentially he's not in the club. So is this the first time you felt in the club? Uh, yeah. And it's not because of the network and it's not because of the show or the production company. It's because of the fans. It's a hundred percent because of the way people have responded to the show. Mm. It's, it's the same feeling that I had and probably you have when you do stand up. You and Ben Schwartz talked about it a lot. Why you started, what you get out of mm -hmm. doing what you do. But it's that feeling of like ringing you just joy. Swished and now you're Ben Schwartz. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> it sounds like you're doing Z's again. I'm doing uh, Ben Schwartz. I'm doing Ben Schwartz doing Aziz. Aziz sure. Doing Ben Schwartz. You know, tell me more about the what the fans have offered you to make you feel part of the club. Love. Pure love. What's joy. the club? The club, I guess, is like that thing where you start to like have a cachet, social cachet. Like you get a little bit of like you that thing where you're like walking on the street and people are like, not like, or like give you the look or like, oh my God, but just like, hey man, I love you. I love your work. My whole family loves you. We're just so, we sit down and we watch you every week. It's great to see you. My kids would be so happy if they knew I saw you today. And it's that feeling of just no expectation, no intention other than to share something beautiful. Have you experienced that with bad intention? Or you're saying you just, there was nothing. What makes you think there would be some type of expectation or bad intention? 
when people see you? Uh, like sometimes it could be a little thirsty. Like the energy can be a little bit like grabby. Give me an example. Um, here, I'll be you. Uh huh. Uh, and um, you're uh, and uh, what am I doing? I'm just uh, I'm eating an ice cream cone. I'm by myself eating an ice cream cone, getting away from the wife and kids for a little bit. I'm outside uh, <laughs> of Alfred's where there's a McConnell's ice cream. Hey. Well, let me have my ice cream and then come up to me. <laughs> oh God. Um, excuse me. Hi, are you? I excuse me. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, I'm shaking. <laughs> oh Jesus, are you? Are you? Um, you're. Oh my God. Ah! No, 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 be real, be real, dude. Be real. I can't. My neck. I get in the. Hold on. People get in their head. I get in my neck. <laughs> what when are you, you when talking? You eat shit that's too cold. Oh. Be oh. real. Be real. I'm eating ice cream. I'm you. Show me what it's like to be thirsty. Yeah. Be, give a real example. It's like example. if you come if you come up Don't to somebody. Don't say if. Do it. Okay. I'll come up to you. It's like, okay, here we go. Um, Excuse me. Can I? Oh, no, come on, man. Oh. Sorry. 58 minutes later. Go back. Oh, no, just bars and tone. <sighs> Funny stuff. Come on. Do it. Be thirsty. I tried to be thirsty. It's like a it's it's a physical thing. It's a shaky thing. Look at me with hungry eyes. Exactly. No, no, no that's Jack. <laughs> there he is. That's hunger. I don't know, man. I don't know how to explain it. It's just love. Why do you think that there are some things people have seen you for where they come up to you in a way that you don't like that feeling, but because of the ghost show, what is what's different? It's a different audience who yeah, treats I think, you different. I think it's a it's not, it's not like the a, pitch, it's, what's the other audience? Pitch perfect type audience? Pitch perfect and then never have I ever is also a big one now. Um yeah, it's mostly like a female audience of a certain age or a male audience. And the to be quite honest with you, you the dudes out there and the DMs are oh, dude, men are fucking pigs. <laughs> you guys are brave. And nasty, real yeah. stanky with those, with your yucks. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, it could get real nasty out there for you dudes. Um, uh, I appreciate your gusto, but it's gross. Anyway, it's not, yeah, like Pitch Perfect when that first came out, like I wasn't really on socials or anything like, uh, what do you call it? Snapchat, anything like that. That's what it's called. Sorry, but <laughs> um, all that stuff felt really creepy like inappropriate and borderline just like i don't want to be here do you feel like um is there something where you feel a level of success now out not not specifically money but like is there a momentum for you where i mean because you've been constantly working and you've done yeah. so many cool projects Thanks. what's the show that i that 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 uh i just messaged you about that i loved avatar no oh yeah congrats on that by the way yeah king, um, king boomy which is wild because my son's name is boomy and i didn't even know but we named him after another couple's kid who's named boomy who was named after the character that i'm playing on oh Avatar. wow do you see that small world you see that um what's uh uh the show where she she lied about her um oh the dropout business, the dropout oh, the dropout yeah oh, i watched man. that in two days dude amanda seyfried are you wow. kidding me yeah First of all, one of the coolest human beings I've ever been around. On Hulu. Very good show. Dude. Real plug. Amanda, like, will be just shooting the shit like us. Wait, she's, wait a minute. She's just like us? She's just like you and me? Bro, she's just totally like us. She's like lifting her legs, sharting all over the place. Whoa. Freaking eating ice cream, chorging ice cream. Could she really see what the weather's going to be like based on uh, what her boobs are like outside? I didn't ask her. I would have to say probably not, but you never know. I'm kind of psychic. I have a bit sense. It's like I have ESPN or something. My breasts can always tell when it's going to rain. Oh, that's right. It's from Mean Girls. I had no idea. Yeah. I was like, this feels inappropriate. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, <laughs> yeah, but... We were just talking about your like, Is it true that her nipples taste like bones i don't know amanda i'm so sorry no i just mean like somebody who has such an ease about themselves who obviously does the work at home that you're literally shooting the shit up until action and then she's just elizabeth holmes we're like talking about horses and her farm and just fucking around and then the do next you need to be in character before action no i would i would deeply deeply love to just take it up until the very last second that's what you're saying she does yeah so why are you giving her such such uh praise for something that is also 
like what you do and have experienced. I think a lot. she had a much harder job. She right. legit had to just become uh, a different. She human. was a completely different character, like how you are on. Uh, as I like we to. See st- it. I like to. I don't keep voices necessarily, but I like to stay in the, the space. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know what it would be like to be Jack for a day. Just and so you the, have to put blankets down and everything. Look at this. So comfortable, by the um, way. You were great in that too. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. I think it's what you said. All boats rise. It's like when you have your lead or your number one or your partner who's locked in, engaged, and generous with their energy. Uh, I mean, Stephen Fry, Bill Irwin. It's super hard not to... It's their Instagram handles. Oh, yeah. You got to get Stephen Fry's up there. The man is a legend. Um, yeah, it's hard not to at least... Fit, I want to talk about that in. with you. You've worked with so many different people in so many different genres. Yeah, my favorite were probably... No, go ahead. What? What were you going to say? I was going to just start naming everyone that I've worked with. Go for it. Uh, Ice Cube. Where'd you work with Ice Cube on? One of the Barbershop movies. Oh, yeah, with yeah, With our yeah, boy yeah, Lamorne. Yeah, Lamorne. Uh, Ice Cube, Cedric the Entertainer, J.B. Smooth, Nicki Minaj, Eve were all in that movie. Regina Hall. Uh, I worked with Vanessa Williams. I worked with... Uh, Ryan Reynolds, obviously, Taika, mm-hmm. YTT, uh, Oscar winner, HCAAC TV winner. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> hey, um, what's hey that movie? it's a big deal. What's that movie again? Free Guy. Yeah, Just watched it twice. It was awesome. He's it was so cool good. seeing you like seeing you like that in that because I saw you posting about it before it came out, and you have like a like a legit. And I don't mean this in a condescending way. I feel this way for my friends and peers all the time when you see people in. That's a real movie. That's a real role. It's, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, no, that's not just like, oh, I got to work with such and such for a day or two. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, no, that that was, that's like, that's real shit, you know? And that's so cool to see. <laughs> yeah, it was a real movie. Like, yeah. I, I had one of those on one of the Ride Along movies. I think the Ride Along 2. Uh-huh. I was like, I'm going to show up and I'm going to become best friends with Kevin Hart and Ice Cube and we're going to be such good friends. And you like, yeah, I'm in the movie for 35 seconds. How many seconds. days you work on it? Two. Two. Yeah. Two. And then I showed up for barbershop and I was like, Cube, do you remember that I was in Ride Along too? And he was like, nah, man, I have no idea. Uh-huh. I have no clue. I still don't even know what your name is. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know until. <laughs> he didn't know. Still an I, was like, I was like, people call me UTK. And he's like, nah, I don't like that. <laughs> Isn't that what, when, a, when a girl has that, uh, she's supposed to drink cranberry juice. Is that right? <laughs> UTI. <laughs> you want to. Right, 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 right. Oh, I'll have to text it to you. Uh, but my first album cover, I didn't know what a UTI was. And I my I wanted to go by the rap name Utkarsh the Incredible. So I, oh, pre- I UTI. I pressed up CDs. My first CD, my EP, it says UTI on the cover. And I'm have a cigarette in my mouth and <laughs> I'm on a canoe. And it's just emblazoned. I think that's great. It's kind of a metaphor for like um, you know, a yeast infection that builds bread. You're making that bread. I guess so. Yeah. Uh, but it also could, you know. Grow stinky cheese, but that's making that cheddar. That's true. Or burn. It could burn, but then you're then on fire. Yeah, yeah. Then you're hot. Yeah. Most, most, um, uh, 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 name, what do you call it? Nickname or side names or like alternate names for money could also be equated to a, a, a woman's issues, w- women's issues. Or men's. Look, yeast infections and, and UTIs happen for men too. Yeah, sure. And some men could get pregnant. And I think that's important and brave. But what I'm saying is statistically <laughs> and more typically. No, I think UTI has got to be at least, it's got to be 40, 60. I'm sure men get them a lot too. But a UTI to a man. You got a big, if you got like I a larger than average urethra. You, a UTI you. is going to happen. You're welcome. A UTI is going to happen. I feel like your number of 40% to 60% is racist, but I maybe we'll look it up. We'll put it up First here. First of all, I never said it wasn't racist. Okay. I'm just telling you the numbers there. It's in stone. It's been we'll, we'll look at the medical dictionary. There's no way. You know what? Look, at look, Let's- I've been on eBay for the last 12 hours trying to get this. Uh-huh. This one out of 10. And I'll tell you, most of the times all I'm seeing is male UTIs. Well, that's because Google knows you're a guy. Who the fuck are We're you getting calling? getting a woman's perspective. I'm going to ask my mom. <laughs> What's your mother's name? Hi, sweetie. Name? I'm at dinner with Pat. You want to say hi, Pat? Mom, I don't have time. But I, uh, okay. uh, uh, this is important. And I, I'm at, I'm doing a podcast with UTK. So do you want to say hi? podcast so with who? Pat. Doesn't matter. Hi. I love you. Mom, we got to know this. You got to know this. Okay. Men to women. Percentage wise, how also that was rude of me. I'm sorry. I, I was in performer mode. Hi, Pat. It's good. To, OK. So, hi, Pat. OK. Hi. Go ahead. Tell me what? Hey, I can't Pat. hear you. I got the music blaring here. Oh, Ooh, what's playing? Yeah. What's playing? 
I don't know, something obnoxious. So, tell me, what, what what is the question? Something from Hamilton. I hate it. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, Percentage-wise, who do you think uh, uh, gets UTIs out of 100 uh, people? How what, how many of them are women versus men? Oh, mostly. I'd say 80%. Okay. <laughs> okay. Agree to disagree. Mom, do you think a UTI affects a woman in a more dramatic fashion than it does a man? Uh... I think a UTI on anybody is going to be exceptionally the same. It's going to be sexually painful, but for a woman, sexually I think it painful. also affects the. Into, I think it affects um, other parts of her. Right there, you go. Because a woman's body is so complex and beautiful and brave, right? Yes, brave and beautiful. Mom, I think you're because, especially mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mom, will you tell UTK about uh, about what you did when you had your hysterectomy? What you told the doctor? I said, I want you to please save my uterus because I want to have it bronze to put in the Smithsonian because I gave birth to the most beautiful children in the world. Oh, oh my god! And gosh. then they said, we can't save your uterus. So I said, well, then will you do me a favor and save my ovaries? And they said, why? And I said, I'd like to make earrings out of them, <laughs> put them in little cages and make earrings out of them. And then when I was done and the and the, um, the surgery was over and I said to the nurse who was in there, I go, did you save my ovaries? And she goes, sweetie, we couldn't save your ovaries. They were shriveled up little raisins. <laughs> Mom, I think that that was so brave of you. And I think being a woman is so brave of you. I agree. Thank you. I think it being, it is brave to be a woman and give birth to children and nurse them and feed them and then have them grow up. Pat and my mom. The two sure, of us? Sure. Well, mom, UTK and I are going to pay for your dinner with Pat. Um, put it on your credit card and I'm going to send you the money. It's going to come from oh, UTK okay, and me. Thank you. Thank you. That's really sweet, sweetie. I'm a huge okay. fan Tell of yours. That was, I can't hear. Did he just say he's a fan of mine? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. Hey, you want to know something? I was at work today. <laughs> and you know what a goofball I am? I do. Okay. What was the word the woman used? She just says the N-word. Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. Now I can't remember the word. Uh, never mind. I can't tell you the word. But yeah. it was, bleep. We'll bleep it. Me, never mind. I love this. <laughs> what was the word? I just said it to Vicky. Prominent. Oh, the woman said to me, what's your name? I go, Debbie Glassman. She goes, Oh, Glassman. I said, yes. She goes, you do look like a very prominent woman. <laughs> and I said, prominent? And she goes, yes, you're probably very, very important to Macy's. <laughs> I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> really important because I'm Jewish. She thought that. <laughs> oh, she, she. Oh, because your last name was ends in man. She was calling you prominent because you're Jewish. I go, prominent. The girl that was working with me said, prominent. <laughs> She's the biggest goof that works here. Oof. All right, mom, real quick, sing, okay. sing, sing UTK a song so he could so he could hear how music. Because mom, you know he works with Lin Manuel. Lin he works with who? Manuel. <laughs> no, he's I a. Can't hear. He's a, another guy. He can't hear me. She mom, can't she, hear me. he works with Lin Manuel, and he's very <gasps> musically inclined. Well, maybe they'll want me in a show. Yeah, so sing something because Lin might watch this. So many mom, mom, stop for a second. Songs. Mom, 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 mom. You're going too fast and you're doing it for silly. I want you to, because she has a beautiful voice. I'm sure I've actually heard it. sing. Lynn Manuel may hear this. So, could, do you know anything from Hamilton or from but anything gonna, else that he's done? I, 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 no, I can't like sing Curb. anything from Hamilton. Like, I'm in a restaurant. Sing along sing to whatever song Kermit is playing right song. now. She doesn't know it. Sing something that really showcases your your voice and take your time. Ricky, I'm in a restaurant. Mom, mom Lynn Manuel. I know that, but he's not going to hire me because yes, I have to lose will. Like 50 pounds. Because you're how much? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Because you're what? We just we'll talked about body dysmorphia. <laughs> mom, mom, you don't have to lose 50 pounds. You just have to change your lifestyle and eat better, and your weight is okay, perfect as it is. Mom, sing Thanks something from Lynn manuel no. Why are there so slow down, many slow down. Please slow down. songs about rainbows? Slow down. Oh. And what's on the other side? Rainbows are visions and only illusions. And rainbows have nothing too high what's so amazing that keeps us stargazing and what do we hope we might see <laughs> someday we'll find it the rainbow connection for lovers and dreamers and me and you could tell them that that's the song i used to sing. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, and that's the song I used to sing you. Magic. <laughs> uh, I love you, mommy. Love you, Tony. Send us the bill. UTK and I are going to split yep. it. Bye. <clears throat> Replenish. Yo, what a beautiful tone. Mm. You should uh, cut to her singing it again, and then you should harmonize with it. Ooh. Mm. You know, my uh, I've talked about this before, but I like to brag. My Her father, my grandfather. Uh, Big deal. Uh, arranger and producer for Ray Charles. Does yes. All the arrangements and the orchestras and the yada yada. So put up a picture. That's, th that's like another 
thing that drew me to you was you started posting stuff of you playing piano and singing on, you your, play? on your socials. I play as well. You got a guitar there. You play I, guitar? Kristen Bell, naked on a beach. Time to hear Rick Glassman speak. Got a whole lot of magic to bring. And I just heard Mama Glassman sing. Oh, yeah, HCAA TV winner. Now I gotta pay for half that bitch's dinner. Well, don't say bitch. Sorry. It's okay. Sorry, Mom. Well, that's not something we'll keep. Add to the money conversation, something will bleep. Cause she means so much to me. That's my mama glassman, my heart she keeps. Hey, when I was. Go ahead, go. Does this bleep me? Take it. So much to me. Oh, yeah. She taught me how to use a toilet to pee. Oh, my mama's got a PhD, mm. but she still picked me up for the baseball team. Did you oh, play baseball? I played baseball, catcher, and center field. Mm. Was I good? No, but I like to. Steal no. all the bases. <laughs> you know, what, what do you feel like? You said? Back then, you could lose aluminum bats instead of wood. I play basketball, but people say I don't pass. But when my dad coached baseball, I sat and played in the grass. In the grass. But it's a joke because I pass oh so well. Ooh. Actually, to get a reputation based off of the the passing joke and the eat my ass joke and stuff because I actually are you gonna pass to me I just want people to see how my thumbs land oh my god you can god. tell how somebody passes if their thumbs are down this is how I pass. yeah I know thumbs down also notice I would go right to the chest but the guitar is there but just look at how you want it to you want to be able to catch it so there's less room where they have to then go to shoot. If you pass it here, then they have to bring it over. We're taking oh. beats. If you could get them right where they're going up. Also, but, do you notice? Do you notice this? I mean, you got great, great. Do you notice form. this? But that's because you're tall and you have good upper body strength. I don't know if that's because of my height and upper body strength. I think it's because of my form and patience. But you have great form. But I Thank think you. when people are, you're what six three, six four. Thank you. That's okay. Okay. Nice. See, look, when you're smaller, like if you actually. If you hit me mm. here, mm -hmm. it would be great because I would, I would just come up like this. I oh, shoot, you like from the side? Yeah, because I'm not like you. I don't have big enough hands. So no. shooting like this you is don't no need good. Big hands. How do I shoot? Because you have because you have a guide hand. When you shoot from the side, if you shoot from the side, I'm just go. Yeah, there you go. I'll just I'll just I'll just be able to block you on your way up. No, I go like this. Yeah, you that's jump, the problem. And then I go. Oh, yeah. oh, why would I jump though? Uh, because when you're shooting from the side, I'll just stop you from bringing it up. No need to jump with you, and that's your problem. Okay, let's go play one on one. <laughs> that would be so fun. I want it. I want oh, it so shit. bad. I want to have a studio that has a have the half court where I could play all my guests. I have <laughs> something I want to pitch you, and I'll, I don't think I've talked about. It. I've like waited to talk about it, but I think I'm going to do this now. Okay. Um, it's my version of comedians and cars getting coffee. It's uh, my guest and I lobbed up, play a game of horse. I would fucking talking shit from before the game, the stretching, the game itself, and then a little after, uh, and it's going to be called horsing around with Rick. I would first of all, you Great know how title, right? yeah, who's been on this show the most, Eric or Lamorne? Adam Ray probably. Adam, who's very funny, An yeah. another also underrated a great guy. Shooter. Is he? Yeah, he came over when he came to. He came over. Teddy, my dad, Adam, and I did an episode. My mom cameo too, and Adam. Teddy flew in, cousin Teddy flew in from New York. Adam flew in from LA. And we did a podcast. And that night, everyone was so stoned. Adam hit 20 something foul shots in a row. You love to see it. Mm -hmm. I don't believe it, but I, I would. I, I watched it. I'd be on that. I'd be your number one guest. 
I would force myself to come. Oh, you're already invited. I got to just do it. It's an easy thing to make. I would fucking wreck you, bro. Okay. I would dismantle you. And I know- I don't you, understand. What? What? Where's this confidence coming from? From uh, nowhere. Just from blind <laughs> blind faith in myself, truly. It, uh, will, you be, will you be winning from here when you shoot from here? Sometimes. Okay. What if I said that you have to shoot from the side? What if I said That's you got to come up like this? Fine. Cartwright if, if, style. If you're allowed to call out certain shots like that, then I'll just dunk every time. You can dunk? Cut you to a clip. Of course. I can dunk. Yeah. Cut to a clip. Yeah. Uh, cut to a clip of uh, of uh, Carl Winslow at... at uh, you know, <laughs> fucking yelling at Bruce Willis, <laughs> hugging Bruce Willis at the end of Die Hard. Oh, I was thinking, and uh, what's... Uh, and, geez, what's the fucking... What's, what's, her, what's the aunt's name? She has a diner. Oh, I don't know, but I know who and, you're talking and about. Rachel's place. Oh, Rachel. Because of that Rachel. sign that you see, it looks like I drew it. No, watch me dunk. Okay. You held it pretty long. Pretty cool, huh? Um, Yeah, horse around with work would be great, man. I think that's a great idea. I would also love to do it and cross, cross, like promote it, not promote it, but like make these things where I have guests on. So then like I could, and then like you come on and then we do that thing. And I could cut to like a clip of it in here. But then if you want to see the full episode, you know, keep the, when I started this podcast, I, the reason I got three cameras before a lot of people were doing three cameras was I wasn't planning on doing a podcast. I was planning on getting a two hour of conversations and cutting it down to like five minutes of fire. Right. And then it's like the podcast is great. Shout out to George Creekus who helped the decision that keep it long form. GC and the place to be. But that's what I want to do. I think we should be doing that right now. I mean, I'm happy to be here. I've been waiting so long to sit on this couch, but yeah, I would have, I'd love, love to have you on. I would love to just. Also, I like the idea of horse around with Rick, but that that's fun. Like two on two, just uh, just fun people playing two on two and talking shit. Dude, two on two would be even better than playing. It's horse. just harder logist it's logistically to, it's to get all those people. And you're also playing and not talking as much. And I don't want it to be about, I want it to be about the conversation more. All I do is talk when I play. Aren't okay. you a talker? I all, all I, I do. fucking do is talk. I've, I saw your uh, phenomenal Thank short you so film, which was freaking, you know, the title Thank says it all. Thank you so much. But um, yeah, I, all I do is talk shit the whole game. All I'm doing is getting in your freaking brain. That's not going to work with me. Um, no, I, that's why I'm excited to play with you. Now, I have a question for you. Let's, let's do an analogy. Let's say basketball and talking shit is to sex and dirty talk, right? If sex is basketball, talking shit is dirty talk, right? Now, some people do a little bit of more or the other, the blah, 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 blah. Um, the equivalent of the way how much you talk shit versus to your act, versus to your actual basketball game, explain that to me in the form of dirty talk to sex. Uh, do you understand? I do. So I want you to think of like, I mean, what what kind of sex? Are we talking about commercial sex? No, I'm talking about you in real uh, in real life. You give me your version. My version, if, if the amount of me talking shit was directly related to my dirty talk, then I'll explain what the sex would be like compared to that basketball. Tell me. Okay. Um, Tell me the rules of the game. All right. Uh, we're having sex, uh -huh. and um, if I were not doing any dirty talk to her, she would not. She would still enjoy it. Um, she would still be enjoying it. It would still be very connected, and um, uh, there would be uh, about the same chance of her orgasming as women get UTIs to men, which is approximately eighty percent. But when you add. When you add the ability to get in their head on the court or get in their soul in the bedroom, boudoir, uh, you know, laundry room, eat my ass, fuck my balls, <laughs> let me eat your ass and suck your clitoris, stuff like that. Now, now, now she's definitely getting a UTI. <laughs> <laughs> now she's definitely getting a UTI. Okay. Yeah, I agree. I'm great at. Yeah, my fundamentals Talking. are strong. Look, Jordan would have been a great player even if he wasn't one of the best trash talkers of all time. Same as Larry Bird. Right. These are I people... recently rewatched uh, Friday Night Lights. You talking about Michael B? Michael B. Jordan, no. But you should definitely watch Fantastic Four if you want a great Jordan it. performance. Yeah. Or Chronicle, or, which I think is his breakout. Or I'm pointing to the Space Jam Cup, but that's a different Jordan. That is Michael. Yeah, that's right. Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Mm -hmm. Is that his middle name? Of Brooklyn, New York, yeah. 
Is it Michael Jeffrey? I'm pretty sure it's Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Really? Almost positive. Yeah, he's like my hero. <laughs> he's like, I mean, you these things, when you're young, you learn everything. And then right. when you're older, you're like, well, I don't know. Here, uh -huh. All heroes come with caveat, caveats. Yeah. Like Michael Jackson. What did he do? He didn't pay his taxes for like four or five years. Oh. And one thing I've learned is you need to be financially sound uh, in um, in adulthood. And MJ, MJ just didn't do it. Not to sell most of his catalog back to Sony. Oh. Yeah. Financially, just like, you know, making large expenditures. That's like when I buy like a box of Panini Prisms 2021. You make sure to pull a gold. Oh my gosh. I'm not trying to be MJ. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. For mainly that reason. Tell me about Lin Manuel and your sure. your connection of because just talked to him you, today. Didn't you do something with Hamilton before it came out? Oh yeah, baby. You were like you were you I, were so yeah Burr or something. I was you, Burr. You played the role that Bill Burr got. How does the bastard Mormon son of a Orphan. dolphin in a Scotch tape oh. dropped in the middle of a forgotten spot in Wisconsin? Right. Yeah, and then they changed some of the words. They did. That was the version that I did. I was well, like, tell me what that was and how you got that. So Lynn and I have been in this group called Freestyle Love Supreme for, uh, I don't know, 20, almost 20 years. How do I guest star? I asked if you wanted to. And I also put your name in, by the way. I may have not told you this, but I mentioned you to um, the folks. We're starting a Vegas run in November. And do, we'd I, love do, to I have need, you. do I need to send you some footage? Bro, um, yeah, you could, but I got you. Great. Now, tell me the truth, because also, I mean, tell me the truth if you can. Uh, I watch a lot of rap where people are saying um, off the dome, where people are talking about freestyle. And and there's too many beats that are called ahead that they would, it would have been like if they said Lord of the Rings didn't have a book first. No, you didn't know what was happening in season five that intricately. You could tell. How much is freestyle? More or less than women get UTI? Um, It's about as much, it's way more. It's really? like as much as men get UTIs, which is... That's, so it's only 20% uh, no, freestyle? It's, it's only... No, men get UTIs like 95% of the time. You told me 40. It's cut back. I think UTIs got to be at least... It's got to be 40, 60. You're... Uh, yeah, I did. I did. And then your mom threw me with a fucking... Ugh, making me buy her dinner. Okay, whatever. Um, but I'll, uh, I'll buy it. No, I'll buy it. Thank you. No, I got to buy it. Come on. Because I make... Bleep! <laughs> per episode. <laughs> um, it's all it's all improvised. Everything is freestyle in our show. So what happens when you when you, when you guys miss? Uh, careful those fingers on the brown. I guess if you have brown hands, it's fine. No, but you're right. I got to be nice to this. But I have the same exact blanket, by the way. Really? Love it. Yeah. Love it. IKEA, right? No, I, no, Target. I don't. Maybe I've had that blanket since uh, my when I first moved here, two thousand eight. Oh no, so this I'm not is sure. yeah, this Target is not even soft anymore. This <laughs> shit is just full. It's rough. It's great. It's matted. Uh huh. Uh, so Lynn and also, I also yeah, yeah to go back to that. Lynn Sorry. and I meet in uh, two thousand four, two thousand five. I'm twenty years old. He's about to do this play called In the Heights on Broadway, which went on to win a Tony. Great show, incredible, really good movie too, um, which came out a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then we do this show all over New York, Ars Nova, UCB. We go to the festivals just for laughs, comedy festivals, Bloody Blue. We do a pilot for Adult Swim. We do a pilot for PBS, which ended up becoming the Electric Company on PBS for many years. And then boop, 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 the Electric Company, Electric Company. And then we do an off Broadway run, which culminates in a Broadway show. This is all after Hamilton. And then we win a special Tony last year for What's this a special Tony. It's something that I think probably Lynn paid for. I'm I'm guessing. Right. It, it's like when it's like when someone one of our friends gets a doctorate from their college. Exactly. It's like, okay. it's like Shaq getting a doctorate from University of Phoenix or whatever it is. Which I think he's doing commercials for now. By yeah, the way, yeah, he's a fucking doctor. Uh -huh. Why not? I mean, look, we I, I, all power to him. But so we have a, a, this Tony Award. But Lynn came to me with this role of Aaron Burr. He was like, "I'm cooking up this, this thing." Is this is pre Hamilton coming this out. This has got to be like ten years ago. Uh, Lynn is like, I got this thing. I'm cooking it up. In the Heights is done. I spent all my money on my wedding with my wife. She's making all the bread. Congratulations, by the way. Oh, great couple. The shortest version of the story is I did Burr at Lincoln Center. And I've done like, I did a New York Times article about, wow, that was just. It's fine. Do it. Say it. Say, uh, say things without judging it. You did a cool thing. 
I did an article and then we talked about it on Mark Marin, who you have an action, not an action card, a superhero card of. Yeah. I also have a little action figure of him. There he is. Mark Marin and his cat. Mm-hmm. And his, mm-hmm. that's uh, Damon Wayans didn't like that at all. Mr. Yeah. Damon Wayans Jr. This isn't the Mark Marin thing. I was just adjusting. I'm saying I have okay. a figure of Fair Mark enough. Marin. Yeah. Okay. Oh, tangential question. Yeah. Do you still play with the magic cards after you have them graded? No. It's just a piece of art now. Um, it's an it's not just a piece of art. A lot of my cards I would look at. Graded or not graded, I just look at. and I Same. Um, and uh, the grading uh, allows it to keep it in a certain condition. It also... It's also part. It's fun. Part of the fun of the collecting, you know. It's it's almost like if you're dating a pretty girl, mm. and then somebody tells you, you know, that they're a pretty girl, and 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 by the way, all women are beautiful and brave. But if you see a woman and you're dating a woman who's beautiful, and then a friend of yours says, "Wow, she's beautiful," it, there's this kind of like you glory to, inside yeah. of us. It's like cool. Yeah. There's something about the professionals saying that's a that's a nine point five out of ten. Where you're like, see. See? Yeah. See? I get a huge buzz off uh-huh. it. I get a bigger buzz when women tell me that my wife is beautiful. Your wife is beautiful. She is stunning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's a freaking... And she's just the best kind of mother. She's my best buddy. She's my super rock. She puts up with all of my weirdo artist recovery brain stuff. What is that? What is recovery oh, brain oh, stuff? Oh, back to the Hamilton thing. I was a drunk. So basically... Oh, are I, you are you sober now? Yeah, I'm almost eight years sober. Um, I did it. I didn't die. Clap for me. Clap for me, Monstars. Clap for me. Where's my plaque? God damn it. Yes. Look, it's just... I don't have anyone to thank. Come on, you could do more than that. It's eight years. I crushed it. I crushed it with no help. Yep. Yep. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Hey, I'll take it. So, still going? Jeez. I mean, what? <laughs> you guys. Hey, I didn't write the book. I just read it, okay? <laughs> oh, shit. Thanks, man. Oh, I really appreciate it. It's just, it's one of those things that just makes me, it just makes me so happy. I really thank you. Oh, this is the most fun I've had in one of these situations. These situations, do you not normally like doing this? Or No, not I just fun? like how we're just doing whatever the hell we want. Yeah. That's what I love about your podcast. You just do what you want and then you animate it so it looks like uh, there was some thought. Not like there's some structure. You add structure after. Oh, uh, you know, there, we absolutely add structure after. It also exists in. I'm, I'm noticing when you're pounding that thing. Well, you know the notes to have when you're pounding the, the, the award. I'm noticing the patterns that we have. We're noticing. Oh, that's okay. Um, oh, but, shit. Sorry. Hey, so let me tell you this. Yes. So, and I don't know if I've told anyone this before. So Lynn writes Hamilton, right? We do it at Lincoln Center. Then we got to go to New York Stage and Film to do uh, Poughkeepsie. Where was it? I don't remember. Somewhere in upstate New York. Your, your friend was there from As We See It, um, who plays the therapist. Sosie Bacon. Sosie. Sosie was there doing a reading, I remember, because I was going to the bar. And instead of hanging out with Sosie and her friend, friendly, I just stayed at the bar. Sosie, great actor. Yeah, check out way. Smile in theaters now. Yeah. Is it supposed to be a um, horror movie, right? Yeah. Shit, yeah. Anyway. I was like, okay, I got to go to this Hamilton thing. I better, I need to sober up. I need to like get it together and I need to like give it. Wait, the, how long have you been sober? Uh, I'll be eight years in a month, but this was like, thanks guys. I mean, look, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. And uh, I was the first. I was the first. It's weird being a pioneer. Let me hit the you. Uh, okay. So I'm like, you got to stop drinking. And the point is, is I couldn't. And I was like, I'd wake up and I'd be like, don't drink, don't drink, don't drink. And I mean like 530 in the morning. I'd be like, don't drink, don't drink, don't drink. Hop on Yelp. Where's the nearest liquor store? It was two miles away. Put the shoes on. Start walking. What did you need to drink for? Do you know? What were you hiding from? I think from? at that point it was or wanting. a physical addiction. Right. Like I absolutely needed alcohol to for your, survive. For your body. Yeah. 
So, uh, but I think what I was hiding from was probably pain, low self-esteem, uh, inability to commit to my life, self-care, you know, probably a lot of anger at the world around me, the wrongs that I felt were done to me, whether they were cultural or racial or ethnic or... Those seem like three similar things. Yeah, but I mean, I was just... Because if I say cultural, they'll be like, what do you mean? I'll be like, ethnic. And they'll be like, what do you mean? I'll be a racial. And be like, well, Indian's not a race. So I'm just like trying to cover all my bases here okay. with all my words, my synonyms. Right. Uh, maybe some parent stuff, fear of abandonment. Is this, is this a first generation thing? Could be. Could, and it could just be genetically that like I get a buzz, right? Like I get high when I open up basketball cards. Yeah. And then I'm like, I have to keep doing it. Uh -huh. It's a compulsion. Yeah. So the addictive mind was explained to me in a way that made me feel good about myself recently, which is like human evolution has like skyrocketed in the last 200 years. Thank you. And yeah, I mean, I'm really proud of you. Industrial revolution, we found our little magic mushies, we found a little bit of weed, we found our pharmaceuticals. We know how to get buzzed, booze, alcohol. Well, I think alcohol. our weed and mushies have been around since pre-industrial revolution, but. Yeah, but you'd say they're more readily available, right? No, I don't think that's the point Here's you're the making. Point. So let's not argue it. The point is, uh, you can get high. Um, yeah, you you get high from Postmates. Yeah, you can get high in different ways now. In a in a more uh, what is it called when something's not real, <laughs> not fake, artificial, artificial. That's the word I'm looking for. Artificial way. Back in the day, people like myself, and I don't know what your buzz is, but I'll say for me, like. <laughs> fiends back in the day meaning like when we were younger or like no, I hundreds mean of like years ago fucking thousands hundreds of thousands like thousands and thousands of years back ago. when baghdad I, was the center of the intellectual before world. baghdad Ooh, jesus times before jesus we're talking we're talking roman ice age. times we're talking ice age which one we're talking probably the second or third ice age i would love if i knew one of the animals names in ice age so i could call back the the dog conversation that we were having <laughs> ben glebe was in uh one of the Wolf. ice ages um it's, uh, I was in one of the Ice Ages. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, the, the Disney Plus one. I'm the bad guy. I play purple a dinosaur. Picture. I'm a purple dinosaur named Orson. Here I am. We were voted one of the worst movies of 2022. By who? 2021. I don't know. BuzzFeed, one of those guys. So racist. Collider, Decider, uh, Provider. I Anyhow, go back, go back. Back in prehistoric yeah. times, prehistoric human times, I'm the guy who's probably like, I'll try the mushroom. Like, I'll eat the mushroom, but we don't know what it does. Who fucking cares? Let's see what it does. I'm the guy who's probably jumping off the cliff onto the mastodon's back with like two little fucking sticks being like, yeah, I'll do it. I'll I like jump. how you went from being self-deprecating from like a, an addict and needing things and I'll do the stupid thing to like, I'll be a hero that jumps on dinosaurs with little sticks and like. Yeah, but we're like the hunters, right? We probably were the, the dudes who like, I'm saying we, I'm not putting you in this category, but we and my, you know, fellow weirdo brains, mm -hmm. um, compulsive folks, we probably are impulsive. Chasing the high. Yes, exactly. Yes. We're chasing highs. Yeah. And when you could, that's probably was a huge asset in a village or a community back in the, back in the day. Maybe not to the person, but to the community. Of course. Right. I'm saying the lifespan is probably very little, small. Right. And we're probably still dying young, not not of like ODs or o overdosing, but off, like I said, the mastodon, sometimes you fall off its back, steps on your sternum, you're gone. That was the original saying, you know, like if you fall off the mastodon's back, get back up as long as it doesn't step on your sternum. Exactly. And then, then move fucked. it to a horse. Yeah. Yeah. Same principle. But I'll go back to, I get it. So go back to, uh, you're, you're, you're doing, um, uh, what's so basically to become I'm, Hamilton and at five 30 in the morning, you're needing drinks. Yeah. So I'm walking to the bar. I'm not the bar. I'm walking to the liquor store and I'm waiting for it to open. I'm getting Jeez. the bottle of, uh, Jameson and I'm just drinking all day here. Hold that bottle of, um, Sam Morell's and Mark Norman's, uh, bodega cat whiskey and pretend that's what it is. So we can give him a little plug. Yeah. Uh, so I'm getting the... Uh, Do you want to have a sip? Uh, sip? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, 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 no. That'd be great. Stop, 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 stop. No, stop. come on, dog. No. Look, eight years was a good run. And I tell you eight what... Eight years? Not anymore. Um, All my sober friends are going to be like, bro, great interview. Until you did that, man. Until you made light. 
No, that, this, is, this, this is less about the disease and more about just plugging a friend's brand. Yeah. Guy, hey, guys, if you don't have a drinking problem, fucking get into some bodega cat. Of, of all the cats out there, the one at the bodega is the one you want to drink. Now, if you have a crippling addiction to alcohol and drugs. Water it down. Yeah, water it down. Fucking drink some Gatorade and man up. Don't be a fucking uh, loser like me and get sober and have a great life. That would be fucking boring. Smart the way you turn that yeah that's like when teachers in the in the early 2000s late 90s would use rap to connect to their students <laughs> yeah should we do that now uh yeah what what uh you got beats uh, the point the point is i'll finish it quick while you're no, doing no, no, that no, no. take your time we got time the point is is that i i'm not a broadway guy and uh i needed all of my faculties to to match what lynn and tommy kale and chris jackson and david diggs were doing and needed me to do and I couldn't. And so uh, shortly after that, I went to summer camp. Did you, did they have a problem with you and that's why you weren't part of it anymore? No, there was no problem. I think what it was, was they believed in me and they were like, this guy is capable of this. And then the guy that showed up was not capable. It's like Riggs in season two of Friday Night Lights who got kicked off the team for not showing up because he was drinking and he had to prove his worth. Or any other show where the guy has been drinking and creates a problem for himself and his coworkers. I just figured since we're talking about Michael B. Jordan so much, we should stick to Friday Night Lights. But yeah. Never seen it. Just cut to the, whole, the pilot the, the whole, whole episode. Whole show. <laughs> but uh, I've watched Battleship a couple times and I think the same dude's in there. Uh, maybe he's in that. I don't remember who's What's in that. What's the main guy? Taylor Taylor, Taylor Lautner? Kitch. Kitch. Taylor Kitsch. Yeah. If there's one thing you guys have learned, it's how interchangeable white people are to me. Sorry. Joe Montana. Joe Manganiello. I'm Ben, I'm ben uh, Schwartz. <laughs> Schwartz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. If, if this were like a studio, like a 30 Rock or something where everyone's around and you could have people come in for a minute, it would just be so fun to have that just that bit for a second. I would love that. Um, yeah. So that happened. And then I got sober. And But I why were you not continually part of Hamilton? Was it in part to drinking or were you just like a friend who was helping something out it before I think, it was cast? No, I think... I think it was a bit of that. No, I think if I had crushed it, I would have done it. I would have been on it. I think what happens is I dropped the ball. Right. They needed to look in another direction. They found Leslie Odom Jr., who is a singular talent. Mm -hmm. And uh, they... He was dating one of the Kardashians for a little, right? Was he? <laughs> Put up a picture of Lamar Odom. Yo, pretty sure he's been married for several years. But yo, Leslie, if you were doing that, um, God bless you. No, Leslie is just incredible mm -hmm. and so uh, i think they found him and if i'm honest it's like it's like cool we have um we got uh we got ricky davis ricky davis is dope he's so good he's our number one he's a 20 point scorer I, you can't do better than ricky davis maybe if we got to take out a job maybe but the next thing you know you tank out you get the number one pick in the draft and you get a guy who played against one of the greatest basketball players of all time Oop, Rick Glassman. Thank you. Yeah. Right here. Uh, you get LeBron James. And then when you're like, oh, we have LeBron James, we're going to have to reform the offense around this singular talent and Ricky Davis. And they did that with Lamar Odom or what's his name? Who played? <laughs> Leslie Odom Jr. Yeah. Uh, Karan Butler. No, um, oh, Karan Butler's so good. Tough Juice. Love it. But um, cut to Tough Juice. Cut to the cover of Slam Magazine with... Um, so, John uh, Michael's just going to be having to Google so many basketball players he doesn't know. <laughs> Mark I'll send me if you can't find him. Mark Price. Um, yeah, let's just name every Cleveland Cavalier we can. No, I want to hear more about this. So if you if the, you get the, Hamilton, that you you don't meet your wife. If I, yeah, no. If I get Hamilton, I probably am honestly not alive. So how about this? God bless the broken road who led me straight to you. Uh, I love it. Rascal Fats. Flats. Flatsy Rascals. Do you want to hear it again? Uh, if you... Can we cut to you singing it on this podcast and then all the other podcasts? Uh, we already did that twice. Um, <laughs> but I want. But listen to the words. Sure. Did you listen the first time already? Because if so, I don't have to go. I did listen, but I'd love to hear it again. All right. Because you you uh, you sing very well. Thank you. I'm going to close my eyes. Yeah, but but listen. I'm going to listen. I'm just going to listen. Every long lost dream led me to where you are. Others who broke your heart. That's like Hamilton. They were like northern stars. Oh. Leading you on your way into your life that you have now. Into your loving arms. This much I know is true. 
No, no. They got busted on their own in the streets of Yes. Don't do it. So Hamilton is uh, uh, Hamilton goes away. It becomes a big success. How do you feel about it afterwards? Do you feel like you I'm missed not, something? Yeah, at first I'm pretty butthurt about it. Uh, but then I was also getting sober and I was in my first or second year of sobriety and it was amazing. Like I was becoming the person that I wanted to be. I was, and it's all basic stuff for like a normal human being who does these things. Great, good for you. But I was like making my bed, brushing my teeth, going to the dentist. I was like paying off when I said Michael Jackson didn't pay taxes for five years. You didn't want to be like Michael Jackson. But I was. And I was talking about me. And I had to pay back the IRS for like four <laughs> or five years of taxes. Uh, I didn't have a... Because you didn't want to or you weren't even thinking to have an accountant or to do these things? I just... Was it negligence or were you stealing? No, full-blown negligence. So you just weren't taking care of any responsibilities? None. Right. I was the guy with a stack full of mail with the red stripes on it. Bragging. Uh, thank you. Uh... See, I'm learning. Uh -huh. Thank you. Um, and then uh, no valid driver's license, mm -hmm. no insurance. How old are you then? Fucking 30, 31. This is... Right around when I got my butt eaten for the first time. Yeah, lucky you. Yeah, we were having huge moments at the same <laughs> time. And I'm, I had no idea while I was getting my ass eaten for the first time, you're over there paying taxes for the first time. The crazy thing is, is like, to be you, getting your... Or anyone getting their ass Thank eaten yeah, for the anybody. first time. Yeah. At first, you don't know it's happening. Like, you're not sure it's happening. You're like, is it happening? Tell me more, because I don't connect to that. Mm. I knew it was happening. Sometimes I'm not sure where my butthole is. Like, in That's a situation like that. Sometimes I'm like... It's kind of like not being aware of when you're being an asshole. Yes. You it's, lack awareness of your literal asshole. Are you at the gooch? Are you in the taint? Or like, are you actually... Are you in the crease of the butthole? Oh. Or are you in the full butthole right now? Okay. And I think at the beginning there, when you're sort of in, in learning what, you know, the, the, the tossing salad is, I, I was sort of, I was a little bit curious as to whether or not it was actually happening. You're making me think of, do you remember this? Uh, did you play this game where you would go like this, you would rub your, your, your arm uh, where the crease of the bicep and the forearm is, and you close your eyes and somebody would start at your wrist and like there's steps, walk up. And then you have to close your eyes and you have to guess when they get to the bend in your arm. And you normally would guess a little before and then the bending like, oh, is that what you, you know what I'm talking about? Yes. So exactly. you're like, am I at the butthole yet? You can't tell. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm more aware of where my asshole is in the crease in my arm. And I you am now. me on that. I am now. I'm like, I know I could tell you where my butthole is right now in a heartbeat. <laughs> I would, like, Bragging I could, again. Yeah. I mean, I know I could I could poke it right now without without missing, which is pretty cool. But that comes with age and maturity. Age or experience? Because if you start getting your butt eaten sooner. I think it comes with self-awareness. I think I have a clear mind now. I have Clear a, mind, full hearts. Can't yeah, lose. I've got a spiritual connection to myself and to something outside of me that lets me know at all times where I am uh, in this world. So if you said to me like nine years ago, where's your butthole? I'd be like. What's a butthole? Honestly, I, I couldn't tell you, bro. Like I, I'm. Yeah. I don't know. Dude was pooping out of his mouth. But now, ask me where my butthole is. I'm opening up, dog. No, please, it's an expensive episode. Sorry. Now, talk to the young people at home who have stigmatized getting your butt <laughs> eaten because it's dirty or it's ungodly or it's weird or the homophobia people that think if you go by your asshole, you're not going to go to the, the, the heaven or whatever their things are. Right. Explain to them why. Look, there's a lot of stigmas in communities about like if you get your butthole eaten, mm -hmm. you are somehow weak. Mm. You lack willpower. Wow. You are um you're not a man or a, a woman for you're not you're not a, a strong member of your gender. Right. Um but I think that masculinity stuff usually goes towards men. And they there's a fear around getting your butthole eaten. Mm -hmm. I think you say to yourself like if I start getting my butthole eaten, what will happen to the rest of my life? Will I lose my my identity? Will I um, lose my friend group? Will I stop being able to socialize? Like, what do I do at night? What do I do at parties? How do I go to a wedding? What happens when I get married? Like, and if I've like, and I, I've had my butthole eaten, does that affect, if I'm getting my butthole right, eaten? Right, will my b b uh, partner to be? Judge me for it. Or make me want to get my butthole eaten. Tell me about it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Turn it up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are you okay? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh.
uh oh, uh oh. Let's talk about them buttholes. Uh oh, uh oh. Time for me to open up my soul. Uh oh, uh oh. I implore you to lose control and let them folks up in your a a no. Yeah. Okay, I'm an asshole. That's right, with the glass full. And a drink with a little bit of coffee That's right man you better get off me Eat my booty hole like toffee, like toffee. That's right man eat it softly. softly Or eat it hardly Don't give a damn man that booty hole is godly What's up on the time? I never had my anus lit Nah I'm talking about this shit right now with my homeboy Rick mm. And if you didn't know That's right I can see What I'm doing right now is creating a metaphor for sobriety Turn around, get lit from the back, 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 back. I remember I was 30 years old when I got my ass licked. The glass been clipped. My dick is soft and fuck it. You get the mush, but you get in the tush and you get that kush. I mean, that shit, that shit. Get it in the round and you get that lick. Bouts and the bouts and the grab that shit. Cause they just trip, trip them and trim that shit. My hair is gross and matty. I get it off and it's real and nasty. Clean it up, get beached and tan. Get it with a man. Oh, oh. Come no, baby, that's my shit coming out my bum. I'ma think about it twice. I'ma get insecure. I'ma ask them, lick my ass, play my bitch, lick my tit, curl my hair, suck my dick. Beat my ass, fuck me twice, ticking bass, put the thumbs down on the pass and lick my th- th- dumb ass ass. I don't think it matters if you come or not. I think the only matters if you chewing gum or not. <laughs> don't get nothing in that Maddie hair, it's a disaster yep. down there, but baby, I don't. Bleep it. Okay. I don't think. You, but we bounce back and forth. Okay. We bounce on yeah, let's go. Ready? Right. Okay. All right. Listen up now, no pretender. This is all about surrender. I don't y'all understand what I am saying. Wait, wait, I'm sorry, go, go. go. Well, what I was saying. I'm, I'm gonna like, can we go like, go, like, like. Finish like, each we'll, other's sentences? Let me just. Okay. Here's what I'm saying. Go on, play it. Keep it on going. Have okay. A conf- yeah, let me do the new beat. I wanna try that with you. All you right, know what I'm saying? Go. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna say a rhyme, then you're. Or gonna- we could just have a conversation. Like, let's just find this. I don't know what the structure is. Let's find the structure and see what we could do. Okay. And it's either finish each other's sentences. Can I, can I start it? Because I need to get something off my chest. Podcasting, you are the best. You would pass the test. Let me get this. I confess. Earlier when I was talking about booty holes, bro, what I was trying to do was make a metaphor for my alcohol use. Now I feel a little bit insecure talking about all that um, due to coming out my pores, pouring out my doo doo crack anyway bro rick what do you think about that we bleep what you made but you ain't poor i think the person is being insecure i think understanding who you are baby and get the floor if you want to fall down break your ankles from a crossover get that tankles if you want to pass then to get that brankle put another hope then to get that tank okay through that nonsense you say i should have confidence in what i say and that's what you meant that's right but i'm on the fence man now you shaking your head what the fuck did you really mean tell me right now because i'm um getting stuck between screens i never thought i could be somebody i was meant to pop the sea i look in the mirror i thought to be this is god's children all to see i think to myself who i am you're great it's too fast i don't know if it's too fast or i'm mirroring your your case be you be uh, you yeah, yeah. let me start you start yeah also brent morin is the uh is the thumbnail of this love it love it love it love it love it i'm gonna tell you a true story tell me right. and then i'll tell you one love love it i recently started talking to this uh i'm just gonna call her a beautiful woman love it. right so she asked me to do something that made me feel a little uncomfortable okay she wanted me to lick my cum off her face spit Yikes. it in her asshole no wow. joke I thought that's a big disgrace. Whoa. I ain't gay or am I? Don't know. Ooh. Because did I care or was it more that I felt a little bit of shame? Uh-huh. So I asked her something simple. Baby, call me daddy. What's my name? name. Once I got in it, I thought, I, actually, I don't want to talk about licking cum. Yep. But that really happened and I got a little insecure about it. Yeah. I haven't tried some. 
but I thought, would I or would I? No, I don't want to talk about that. Yeah, I like, understand. I, 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 you I, could put up I, boundaries. I, yeah, well, it's a combination of not being in the flow and then talking about something I don't want to talk about. It was great rap. Uh, no, that's I, I like conversational rap. Yeah. 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 Ooh, I like this. Doom. Yeah, turn it up. I'm a rap. Then Rick, gonna try not to spit. With the same kind of flow that I got and I gotta grow. Ow. Okay, here we go. Yeah, take your shoes off, pa. Yeah, then I roll with the Rick last minute. And you know he the god. Yeah, he's six foot three. Uh. And he got a big bod, yeah. He bringing that funk in the trunk and he letting y'all know that he knows how to dunk. Well, I do too. And I'm coming for you on the court, of course. I'ma beat your ass when we play horse. You ain't shit. Even though all I'm doing is talking. We walking. That's right, what you got, man? You're gonna be outlined in chalk then. Why I'm getting so angry? Chalking. Ovechkin. Or what? I'm checking. Check it. This is a connection. Now, Rick, you better spit a little bit of your collection. collection. I don't rap, I just talk truth. Yeah. I don't speak, I just sing you. Yeah. I don't talk, I just do truths. Mm. I don't pray, I just do juke. I don't juke, I just shoot twos. Ooh. I don't dunk, I just lay through. Ooh. I don't do a back to it. Put it on through, get it all good too. Yeah. I once went to half court shop, put what? it up, never got blocked, never got cocked, never went up, never put stop, never got stopped, never took a pop, 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 pop. Then I push it in the back spin, back spin. Then I push it off the glass man, glass man. Talk about a business, business man, business man. I ain't glass, glass, I'm a glass man, glass man. Glass I man. get rebounds like it's my job, like I ain't. Yeah, it's a job. You know, don't have to listen. Why did they change? When is the team oh, gonna come it. back in? It's a metaphor. It's yeah. About jazz. Well, just... <laughs> what? Why would you do this? Why would you do that to an instrumental? That's just poor city planning. Yeah. 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 Mm. Picking up pop. Never gonna stop. When I gonna drop? Then I go flop. Everybody look at my watch. Then I watch you chew. You in the ice, sounds so nice And I got it right now, Indians love to eat their rice eat their Carbohydrates, rice. I hate Yeah, they make me gain my weight yeah. Yeah, 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 But if your mama just cuts them out, cuts them out. She'll be fine, what am I talking about? Careful. No disrespect okay. No disrespect to the mother Cause she is better than any other But listen my brother, just wanted to say I'm happy we get to pay For what her and Patty get to eat today I'm doing it for a while, so don't worry. I get paid to freestyle, yeah, but good. we are here. The only thing that you gotta keep clear embrace the fear. UTI. UTI. Cheese in my eye. Yeah. Men get 20%. At least that's what Rick's mama said. Me, I disagree. I think everybody can get UTIs equally. If you got a big Uri, bruh, you could probably get a UTI, bruh. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, I'm flowing. Oh, hello. On your shirt is Donatello, Leonardo, okay. Embargo, don't know what I'm saying. I could be like Robbie, Margo. I could be Bobby, Fargo. I could be down in Key, Largo. Good. Yeah, that's how the angles go, bro. Yeah. You got the little Michael and the Delo. Teenage Mutant Ninja nothing, nothing to get in something. Push the dust, it's got but uh, Yeah, let me do that. Let me do that for a minute. Let me, let me find, let me, let me feel my happy space. Go, all bro. Right. I'm going to drink coffee. You go. All right. All right. I'm going to start a new one so I'm not taking any of your rhythms. I'm going to find my happy space. Get ready to get saving with Wayfair's five days of deals. Deck those halls with seasonal decor from $9. I'm a hot pocket. Relax, fit and cock it and sock it. I rock it. I was talking with a melody to make me feel more sympathy and understand what I am feeling. Going through the peaking need them, going nowhere over faster. Make it smaller, stronger, matter. If you can't, then get it better with a melody. You see, I was never understanding when I turned 23. I had first elementary, turned 23. Wait, all right. We're do it do it i'm gonna keep doing until i find feel feel it
Do your thing. Take your time. But I ain't picky swearing nothing, I'm just giving you thumbs down Point it up to your dick, then laugh uh -uh. Put it back and you pack it on back uh -uh. Push it back when you put it on pass uh -uh. Put them up, speak it up, put them on blast Now I think I understand what they mean when they say Never understand nothing to me Words ain't nothing but a figure to me Cause ain't nothing but a singer and it's bigger to be It's bigger to see, bigger and bigger Bigger Mac, Big Mac with the bigger to be. Biggie's nothing but as big as less as biggies as smalls. When you put it on the back with your overalls, lucky draws. Oh, oh, hold up, wait a minute. I think I understand what she said for a minute. I think I understand what she said when she give it. I think I understand what she said when she lit it up. Never do my laundry cause I don't want the colors fading. Never mind understand the must in the maiden. But if I had to ask for a favor, wash it in cold. Not for nothing, baby, cause the lyrics are all oh, you ain't huffing enough. You ain't tough enough. You ain't loud enough. You ain't loved enough. You ain't hot enough. You ain't cut enough. But you ain't cut from the same cloth, bless you butter, butter up. Butter my bread, butter my lead, butter my lead. <laughs> How you butter the shit? How you butter the bag? How you butter the head? Cause if you would butter, 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 butter the rest. Butter, 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 butter. Bigger batter, bigger wanna batter, butter, 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 and another butter, another butter, 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 cut up, cut another. Yeah, bigger batter and better. Okay, I butter up my biscuits and I add a little cheddar like red lobster. Okay, coming through, don't listen, cause I got to keep rocking with my homie, he's on the sponsored by CBD oil. Okay, when Rick What on does it, it take to be a pioneer? I'm on the commercial. Okay, give me a topic. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Crooked frames. Yeah. All right, look at me while I don't crawl. I'll back and forth and up the wall, got a stall. To get a little story, it could cost the name. And I'ma talk about a little crooked frame. Now the game is simple, gotta keep these dimples attached to these cheeks every time I speak. Oh, when I freak on the weekend, I'm eating these beats. And Rick's right here, homie, and you know that he reached deep in his soul. Losing control, he take his shoes off, and he releases souls. And now mine's are a neon orange, and I've been more than a welcome. Listen, cause I got to tell them that I'm. I went to a frame shop, but he's like, stop, what do you got today? I'm like, I need you to do it in a different way. I live in Brooklyn, my apartment is crooked, it's at an angle, so I need this shit to dangle at like a 40 or 50 degree angle. I need it to go like this on the wall, I don't want it to go straight at all. He's like, wait a minute, that's a little different, you know? I said, yeah, motherfucker, that's just how it go. Well, when you're living in Flatbush off of the queue, that's what you gotta do, know what I done been through. But now I'm in LA, and you know those earthquakes to make the ground like constantly shake. So what I try to do with my picture frames is just to have them a scant. Yeah, so at a glance, you see them, they're just a little bit off. They're looking at me like, man, man, you're a doula soft. Your brain's probably coming out of your ear. I'm like, nah, man, wait a minute, see, clear, cause I got drywall and drywall warps. So uh, I was talking about Hamilton and you you brought it up astutely that I said I would uh, not be alive, which I think is true. Had that success happened and I didn't have to get sober or surrender, uh, it would have been rough for me. But then Hamilton does come out. Two things helped. One, the love from Lynn, David, Chris Jackson, Tommy Kale, like the fact that they just embraced, they knew what, what happened. 
Um, they knew that it would hurt me. And because we're brothers and because we're family, they took care of me in that way. What does that mean? Just love, just like uh, videos, pictures, birthday messages, front row seats to the show. Like, How did it feel going to the show? Um, at, it was difficult at first. Did you almost not go? Um, no, 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 no. They're my friends. They're my mm -hmm. family. I love them. I would always support them. Um, there was no chance I wouldn't go. But, but um, I wrote like a musical. I wrote like a hip hop musical about a guy who missed out on being in the biggest hip hop musical of all time. And Tommy produced that. Tommy, who directed Hamilton, mm -hmm. produced that. And I fictionalized the whole thing. Where was it? It was at Amazon. It's like uh, you're, it's like you're the sixth lead. Yeah, yeah, it was very much like the sixth lead. Um, <laughs> very good is show. Is something by the way. people could see? No, we never shot it. We just we wrote it, and um, and Amazon passed on it right when they were shifting into their um, sort of Lord of the Rings. How like, long ago? This must have been five or six years ago, but it was super cool. Like I sat in the car with Lynn. And I was like, is it weird that I'm writing a show about what happened? And he was like, yeah, it's very weird. And I was like, cool, you want to hear some music from it? And he was like, I'd love to. I played it for him. He loved it. And then we went and saw Dan Harmon do some like reading. But the point is, is like my first year of sobriety, Lynn was the first person that FaceTimed me. He called me today. Whatever happened with my drinking, whatever transformation through the help of many people that I was allowed to have the grace to sort of live through strengthen those bonds and all bonds in my life um but since we're talking about hamilton like i just did a movie for disney plus i wrote and co-starred mm -hmm. i wrote the music i wrote the script with people and acted in this movie that tommy kale who did hamilton he produced for me and christopher jackson's in it and you filmed it already yeah we shot it i, I had my first screening two weeks ago what's um, it called it's called working title. Uh, it's called, let's hope it's called world's best. I thought just saw an announcer for this and I thought it was announced that it was happening. Not that it was done. Oh no, we shot it. We did it. We have a director's cut. We're starting screenings this weekend. And you don't have a name. I have a name that I want, but Disney's Disney might do their own thing, especially after we talked about fucking right. buttholes for 45 minutes. Right. God and, knows. I'll and be, a whole bunch of other stuff that at this point has been bleeped or yeah, cut. Yeah, I'll get just drawn out of this thing. Just I'll be sweating. CG, yeah, just CGI'd <laughs> out of this. You know what I mean? <laughs> Monsters in the house. Um, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Um, and then, You happy with it? Yeah. For if I hope they let me do it again. It's like really amazing to be able to write something and uh -huh. create something and look i know there's a comedy podcast but like when i was eight or nine i didn't have a movie about a 13 year old brown kid who i could look at and be like that that guy's me that guy looks like me the movie that you wrote is about a kid uh it's about a son and his mother and father yeah it's about a boy who is a math wizard doesn't want to be finds out that his late father was a famous rapper and then his father starts to visit him as a ghost imaginary friend and teaches them how to rap it's yeah it's sidekicks ghosts are in yeah it's a rap sidekicks with indians um so yeah ghosts are in yeah and i played the ghost this time so i'm stoked on that but point is is we've come full circle and while it hurt at the beginning like you said every every day is a winding road you get a little bit closer right yeah Every long lost yeah. dream led me to where you yeah. are. Yeah, it's basically um, ya da 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 on the road, right? Okay. Ya da da. George, follow me. Uh, uh, there used to be a gray and tower alone nice. on the hill. You lay on the dark <coughs> side of me. Go even higher. Love there it is. Me. Nice nostrils. <laughs> but did you know that when it snows, my eyes become large and the light that you shine can be seen? Fuck you, fuck you, baby! Wait, I'll lead you the baby again okay. from the eyes can't be seen. Two, three, four. The eye, well, two, three, four eyes can't be seen. So, two, three, four. <laughs> Life is a highway. Um, I wonder what will get flagged on this. From like all the music. I'm Probably so rhyming uh-oh with butthole. 
which I have to credit to Adam Sandler's 100% fresh special. When he went, uh oh, <laughs> something like a butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, say what you want about that man, but I think I he will. Is, he's one he's of the kings. So funny. Of course His he is. Special 100% fresh. It came to me at a time in my life I didn't know I needed it. And I will return to it like a, like, um, a, a cashmere sweater, like an old sweater, like a like your high school hoodie. It is one of my favorite places to go, mm-hmm. much like this podcast and your stand up is. So much. It's a great place to come when you need to feel good. I've said it on my podcast numerous times, but my favorite cut to is Billy Madison. Oh, Billy, Billy boy, when are you going to find whatever it is you're looking for? Here's a nice piece of shit. <laughs> he just picks it up to light on fire. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's shit. one of the greatest. I, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this. Yeah. What? Um, so ask me and we'll bleep it. If not, um, we'll bleep the names. But Sam Morell, the comedian, do you know him? Uh, I've seen him it's, on it's this. His, it's his. That's his whiskey. Uh, his, yeah. His special special just came out and he told me that Sandler emailed him and loves his special and is taking him out on the road with him. That's incredible. You want to make a call? I have to. Yeah. Should we end it or do you want to come back to something? It's up to you. Can we? Do you think we can end it? Are we allowed? Yeah, we could end it, but also we could do something post call. I think. I, I mean, this episode. We got. I got date night. Wifey's coming. Let's end it. Yeah, you'll come back whenever you're time. Shout out to my wife, who's the best part of all of us. Can we put up her Instagram handle. Yeah, we could put it up. I it's get private. very uncomfortable. Yeah, good. I yeah. don't like to post. No, I don't man. even want to talk about what I don't like to post. Yeah, I got. I got all kinds of. Um, but she's private. Yeah, we got all kinds of restrictions on our stuff. Yeah. I got kids, man. We yeah. got people are weird out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, uh, what can we plug that people could see now? Um, okay, wh- look, if you got Netflix or the password for it, check out Never Have I Ever season three, Bang Bang Boom. It's a really fun show. I play a guy who's uh, uh says words on that show. Uh, you got the Dropout, Hulu's the Dropout, so Emmy, good. Emmy Award winner Amanda Seyfried, also mm-hmm. a very good friend of mine. Amanda, I freaking love you. Uh, who, what else do we got going on? Ghosts, Freddy? man. Ghosts on CBS what season days? two, Thursday nights at 8.30 p.m. on CBS and Paramount+. Check Plus. out episode three, I think, this week. Episode two. Oh, three. Episode three. Maybe four. Three or four. Three or four, time yeah. travel. Uh, what else do we got going on? Uh, you know, please, 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 the thing that gets no love, uh, not love, the thing that we generate the love for is my music. And if you could go to Spotify and just check out Utkar Shambutkar, Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, whatever it is, I would, it means the world to me. I didn't even know that existed. I got a bunch of music, singles, albums. Uh, My new single is coming out in a month. Are you singing or is it all rap? Both. It's called Mad Villain is the new one. And it is going to be, it's going to come out on the 28th of October and also be featured in Fortnite, which is a video game that I love to play. And it will be on Fortnite radio. And I'm very proud of that. Uh, what's your Instagram? U-T-K, U-T-K, the I-N-C. U-T-K-T-H-E-I-N-C. I wish it was just my first and last name, but I didn't think Instagram was going to stick around as long as it has. Does somebody own it? Yeah. They own all my stuff. Well, if you're watching, give it back. Please. I want it back. Scoot doo. Babbly doo. Scoot Oh!